Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry, Tough Gunny. I have no clue what the hell I'm doing today. <clears throat> I have uh, no plans. I like. I don't even know what I want to do. I'm just going to chat for a minute, I guess. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. But uh, You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to turn my mic up a little bit, I think, on this. Hold on, let me check something. Yeah, it looks like it's the same volume level, but there's no way that's the same volume level because it's almost always quieter when I'm uh, try up a little more maybe when I'm on this uh, screen than I'm when I'm over here on this screen. Yeah, it's definitely louder over here. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure that out. I don't. I, I honestly don't know why. But anyway, hey, <laughs> Tough Gunny, if you were watching, I apologize, man. I didn't really mean to be that late, but I got stuck on. Streaming we need stream. If he's if he's still streaming later this evening, I'm gonna go ahead and raid him, but uh, for now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I I just I didn't have any plans for this evening. I looked at what's free to play this weekend on Steam. And for anybody who's interested, Steam has uh a couple games that are free to play. Let me just go and pull them up real quick. I wish I could get Steam's weekly ad thing to pop up without having to restart Steam, but whatever. I'll restart Steam real quick, see what it looks like. <clears throat> well, there you go. Pardon me, I burped. <laughs> okay, so here's the free stuff that's going on this weekend. Uh, whatever this is, Ludo Narakon? What the hell does that mean? What, that's the only free thing that's being advertised right now? What new? Oh my god! Earlier today, it had different news. I, what is this anyway? A bunch of streamers doing something, celebrating narrative games. All right, cool, whatever. Um, where's the free stuff? Okay, so Conan Exiles is um free to play for the weekend. But it's like a 60 gig download, and I was just like, eh. I don't feel like putting 60 gigs. I don't feel like putting almost a tenth of my entire bandwidth out a third of the way through my, uh, my, um, actually, I need to turn that up. Pull the mixer out. A, a tenth of the way. What? Oh my goodness. Do I have to reboot? There we go. Ah, oh, that's okay. Tip the, uh, a, a, a third of the way through the month, so. But anyway, that's free to play for the weekend. Anybody who wants to. I, just, I don't feel like we downloaded 60 gigs. Um, I think there's one other game that's free to play for the weekend. But for some reason, it's not showing up here all of a sudden. Um. I don't remember what it was, though. That doesn't really matter. I swear they're about to be a nip slip in the Twitch, that Twitch event thing. <laughs> well, okay, wait, where was it? Oh, I, I closed it already. Dang it. Oh, Solaris is free to play for the weekend. I played it for a little bit when it was free to play last, a couple weeks, a couple weekends ago, but it wasn't, it wasn't my thing. I mean, it's okay. If, if I got into it, maybe I could, I could get, like, into it, but... That takes a lot of, of getting into, and that's the problem with it. I'm going to turn this down a little more. Sorry. Okay. Um, I, all those, I, don't, I don't click on E these guys. I don't know why they have them up here. People actually check out their recommends. Anyway, I got, I got nothing today. I don't know, I don't know, what, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm lost. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, just browsing through the through the games that are on listed here. <laughs> I could probably got some pull some free ones out, but I don't know. Play some Half Life. I guess I could play some Half Life. <laughs> it's been forever since I actually played the original Half Life. It would actually it would probably actually stream adequately on this computer. <laughs> It'd probably stream better than any other first person shooter I play, or any modern day first person shooter anyway. Um, you know what? I do have I do have Arcanum. 
And that's one that, and I also have this Divine Divinity game. These are both interesting games that I've spent a few minutes on, but not really any time. It's like, well, this doesn't even tell me how many how much time I spent on it. I, I swear I spent a couple minutes on it. And this one I spent 19 minutes on it, kind of messing around with it. Kind of want to check them out a little bit. I also want to kind of do some full stream on them. I don't know. But then, of course, I have those uncompleted games. I got Under Rail I should work on some more. Um, let's see. Oh, and then there is um, Way of the Samurai 3. I'm going to mess with that some more. I really do need to do a play playthrough of Way of the Samurai 3. I've got some tactics. That, that one guy who came in here and gave me some really good recommendation for tactics. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. <laughs> I don't think I'll be getting back to that anytime soon, honestly. I'm a little disgusted with Bethesda games. But whatever. Um it's not this it's, it's not like Morrowind was one of their bad ones or anything like that. Fallout 4 was definitely one of their bad ones. Still made more money than it should have, but anyway. Um Star Trek Online had some interesting stuff. I remember playing Steel Division with you. We got three hours into that. No, I mean, I mean, probably two hours. I think I played it for an hour. I haven't updated Warframe for a while, so it's probably due for a massive two gig update or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, how are you doing this evening, Tough Gunny, man? Did you look any further into... Um, or see any any new information about the... Or different information, rather, about the um, loot box regulation thing, Magic. Hey, Porter Wolf, how are you doing this evening? Closing time. Oh, my goodness. You know, that and Wonderwall are like two of my least favorite popular songs. <laughs> I don't know why they're popular. Well, I can kind of see Closing Time, but Wonderwall, I don't know why the hell that one's popular. Jeez, man, that was an awful. Like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, so it's like it's like the guy sings off tune the entire song, and yet it's 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 super. <laughs> At least during the '90s, when I was in high school, that song was the fucking shit, and I was like, "What the hell?" And and all the <laughs> all the elitist, um, what do you call them? Um, uh, the other kids who were who were into the indie bands, they were all elite about it. Black screen is real, are really? Is it? Wonder, Porter Wolf, you got a black screen? Wonder Wall is popular because it's easy as fuck to perform. Oh, I guess so. I guess that would be true. That's true. <laughs> I guess that's why everybody makes fun of me when I start playing on the guitar and they're like, Wonder Wall. <laughs> they're going to play some, play some Wonder Wall because it's easy, as, easy AF to, to actually play. But no, I can't stand that song. Can't stand it. I don't, I, and I just refreshed. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, at least you're, at least it's up now. I don't know. I mean, I've run it. I, I ran into a black screen on a couple different streams actually earlier today. Refreshing did fix it, but I think Twitch is probably having some trouble today. I don't know why. There it was. Oh, you got a black screen clip again? Um, it says I haven't dropped any frames. My bandwidth looks good. I don't know. Oops. No, I don't want to remove playing. No, I don't want to do that. Why would you do that? I want to do that. There we go. I have, I have no clue, man. You know what I've been doing? Spent part of my day, part of the night. I'm actually, I like, I spent, I was up till like, I just, I straight up stayed up all night just doing stuff. Um, in particular, uh, this stuff right here. I've been, I spent all night just kind of working on, on icon, or not icons, um, what do you call them? Um, yeah, icons, I guess, but I don't know, what do you call them? The YouTube, YouTube little promo icons that are for your videos um and i'm just kind of i every every week i try and recolor that's not what i wanted to open up actually there that's what i wanted to open up every week i try to recolor these oh that sucks actually <laughs> so that they so that they they have a unique look to them i'm just kind of messing around with it trying to find a good way to represent later Later overlays or, or icons and stuff like that. But that's that's like mostly what I've been messing around with all, all night. And I got half or three quarters of, the, of my blocked, or not blocked, uh, my unfinished YouTube videos up. 
I've got a couple more working on still, but anyway. All their workers are at the party. Oh yeah, wait, there's a what? What party? <laughs> I guess they could be. Is there a Twitch party going on? Let me let me go see what Twitch is saying about what's going on. Or browse. Is there a Twitch party? It's a bunch of just chatting. I'm in the just chatting category right now. I was thinking about playing some Apex Legends, but I don't. I've been playing it a lot, and I've gotten okay, but I don't really care that much. I don't really feel like. Everybody's playing Borderlands 2 because Borderlands 3 just came out. Also, I heard Pikachu just came out. Um, do 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 do. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Good old Smokey went and saw Pikachu last night or earlier today, actually. That's what I said. The girl in front of the that party, boobs about to fall out. Oh, that party. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can get that party back up. Let me go to the store. Okay. Uh, it's in. I think it was like in here somewhere. No, maybe. Was it here? Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't here. It was... It was... Oh, that was kind of cool. It was, uh, it was in that separate tab that popped up when I restarted Steam. I need to get this game. I really do. It's on my wish list. It's 50 bucks, though. Uh, oh, well. And Juno, okay. I can't, you know I can't do this, right? <laughs> you know I get banned for watching somebody else's stream on Twitch. But I will, I will hit pause as soon as it starts and check out what you're talking about. Oh shit, it's, I guess it's an actual... <clears throat> I guess it's an actual party, I don't see any boobs right now. It looks like a, mostly a sausage fest from this angle. That's totally a sausage fest right there. <laughs> Start down a little so I don't, I'm not choppy on the on this stream. I like how I'm mixing the music for him. <laughs> and Juna beats. Oh well. <laughs> Wait for the cam change. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what the cam change does. What do we got a cam change? 5,000 people watching this crap. Life when Twitch headquarters. San Fran. Oh, I, I see who you're talking about. I, I guess, I hope, or I assume. Let's get, let's get them boobs in 1080p. <laughs> oh, this is going to be banned. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I guess these are famous Twitch streamers. I don't know. Yeah, my... My bandwidth is definitely not going to handle this very well. I can see that right now. No. Woo! Nope. That's not happening. Let's try 720. I have no idea who these people are. All right, 480. We actually worked at 480. And it switched back to this guy. Ah, oh, man. I, I, can't, I can't watch this in stream at the same time. That's the way it is. It sucks. Oh, well. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I just, I can't. It just, it doesn't work. Um. Man. I have, I have no idea. I'm just going to look through here for game ideas that I might feel like playing. Most of these I don't, honestly. Ah, Divinity 2, but I want to do that multiplayer. And I've almost beat Divinity Original Sin, the original game, on my own, so that I can actually play it multiplayer and feel competent about it. PUBG? PUBG Mobile? Seriously? PUBG Mobile? That's an actual category? With 893 viewers, holy shit. Oh wow, there's actually not that many viewers in the lower area. I should pick up Detroit and become human. That wouldn't look like an interesting game. Yeah, oh man, I kind of feel like I should... Maybe I should stream from my PS4. 
All right. Well, um, I don't know. I just want to have a beer and I just want to relax for a bit or get stressed out. I don't know. I just want to do something dumb. And since, <laughs> since I have no clue what to play and I've just been, I've been doing a bunch of, um, Apex Legends on my own. I may just, well, I may want to pick that one up again for a little bit, at least until my computer decides to overheat and crash. It's just definitely, it's on, it's on its way to, to doing there. It's a warm day out here. It is a very, very, very nice, warm, warm, sunny day. I got the windows open. I'm going to have to start putting a fan in the window again. Summer is here. Summer is definitely here on this side of the coast, on this coast over here. It's it's quite, quite warm. It is a beautiful day out. I almost, I almost don't want to stream, honestly. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out. I want to go walking around for a little bit. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's okay. If you guys have a beautiful day where you're at, I, I recommend you maybe maybe you go check it out. Check go walk it around for a little while and have some fun. Don't watch me. Don't don't <laughs> But I don't know, man. Um I need to, I need to take you and tuck you over here. Uh da, 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 da. I'm going to start, I'm going to start with a few rounds of Brawlhalla. I'm going to do that. Start with a few rounds of Brawlhalla. Then maybe switch up to something else later. Welcome to Brawlhalla. And if you guys, oh, oh yeah, and if you guys want to... Like, make any recommendations, music-wise, whatever. Feel free. I have no problem with that. I'm going to move my camera. I, where was the best corner? I think the top right corner was probably the best corner. Um, no. For this game? Oh, that looks like but. Oh, I got it. I got to do this the hard way. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay, so it's this one. Nope, it's not going to do it that way. What is with the snappy bullshit? There we go. Sort of. There we go. That's good. All right. A um, couple things I got to do. Because uh, my PS4 controllers all decided to just totally hose the, um, the, the port that connects the PS4 controller to to the PC, so I used to just play it off the USB port. So I was like, you know, less lag that way, which I guess there it really isn't that much less lag. But anyway, because that port has been busted for a while on both of my PS4 controllers, apparently they went bad because I used it so much, because I have like almost 700 hours in this game now. Um, the, uh, I have to I have to go wireless now, which means I have to turn it on. I have to turn my wireless on. I turn my wireless off every time I'm done. Uh, in part because, um, world's best boss nineties. In part because oh, I got a platinum on my side. Well, those guys have turned their borders off, so who knows? Uh, I'm I'm drunk and I'm gonna suck. I can see that right now. This is not gonna be good. It's not gonna be nice at all. Ah. Well, like, it's okay. It looks like these guys suck, too. Oh, wow. Ah! 
Oh, he beat me. Oh, there's a reason people they play Lord Vrax. Oh, he's solid. Oh, bullshit! Oh my god, come on! Oh, Mike, seriously? You had to stop him! I was gonna get him! I'm just gonna have some fun here, guys. Ah, uh, nice. There we go. Now we're anyway, how are you guys doing this evening? Have you heard anything new about the um or anything differing, any differing opinions about the anti loot box thingamajig that's not really going through Congress, but is, you know, in the works. So far I've heard a couple of different opinions on YouTube. Kind of prompting me to want my to make my own opinion, you know, a little more public about it. Because, I mean, let's face it. What I've seen on YouTube is, the government will solve everything and the government will solve nothing. You know, those are the two things that I've seen on YouTube. Which is <laughs> really silly, both of them. But neither one of them, you know, actually act like they want to support the, the loot box referendum thing. Which ain't not referendum, whatever it is. It's not a referendum, it's... It's a bill that's being put before Congress-ish. It's not even Congress. It's, this, this, I don't even know what it's like. It's in committee is what it's called. Oh. Nice. Ooh, I went right into that one. Oops. And they should get the double kill for that. Oh, they didn't. Oh, I didn't either. Damn it. Oh, he got me there. I'm just going to play this. I don't know. I'm going to get warmed up here a little bit. Nice and drunk. You know. Oh, that didn't work. What the fuck? Nice. I thought I was going to hit the guy with that shit. That should go. Anyway. Now, guys, I am just chilling out tonight. It is Saturday night. I got nothing interesting. One more, one more, one more like this. I got nothing interesting to think of to go on. Uh, I, the only interesting thing I've got is, um, like I said, the loot box referendum thing, not referendum, but the bill before committee thing. And, and really the thing is, is that there's no, there's no, even though there's public outcry and support, there's nobody actually saying, here's how you support it. Because every single politician is basically doing the same thing that people on twitch are doing they're trying to get more popular they're trying to get their name out there and um the only shitty thing about it is that the politicians are of course getting paid to get their name out there already so <laughs> it kind of sucks that you have to help them out especially in regards to uh cheese um that didn't do oh well 
Ah, oh, come on. That's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> oh, well. Especially in regards to, um... Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, what a fucking gimp! Oh, that's gonna piss me off. How's that for a gimp, bitch? Ah. Ooh, nice. Interesting. I keep doing that. Hmm. Oh, uh, I'm all dead. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can at least clear up. Yeah, okay, there we go. So if I die, at least this guy's going to be 1v1. Yeah, I died. It's 1v1. So this guy should be able to maybe take him out, if he's any good anyway. And not drunk like I am. I'm I'm kind of drunk. Uh, that is that is a full beer. I'm, this is my that full beer. I'm just finishing up here. But anyway, for, has anybody seen Pikachu? By the way, besides um, oh dude, you just oh okay, he didn't. I thought was, I thought he ran out of all these jumps. Um, besides uh, good old Smokey, who let me know he saw Pikachu earlier and he really liked it, but I was like eh. Dude, oh, this guy's actually pretty good with his life attacks. There you go, man. That was a solid one. Yeah, this guy's actually not bad. All right, cool. That's cool. This elephant death by nerds, nice. It's like, what does anybody think of, of Pikachu at this point? Like, it's just, it's that's just not it's similar to all of for different reasons. Um, my opinion of the freaking, <laughs> of, uh, of, um, of, uh, the, the, what do you, what do you call it? The, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, I have, uh, avoided the, anything to do with Pikachu because quite frankly, I don't, just don't care. It's, it's, I, I know there's a huge phenomenon for, with Pokemon, but I just don't care. Damn it, that missed. Oh, that missed? Dang, he got a good dodge. Dude, you did, did, he just did that! I can't believe he did that! He was perfectly safe! Ah, that missed. Nice! That guy's got some good axe uh, attacks there. Oh, come on. I thought that was on my time. Should have known better. Oh, I missed. I was dumb. That should kill. Yeah, there we go. 
I feel like the music might be a little loud at this point. Not that it matters that much, because uh, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to watch. Maybe Tough Gunny's out here watching. Ah. Uh. Oh, he came right. Just a... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was the wrong way to go. <laughs> Did I get Kanoi got credit for that? Okay, cool. Oh, did he really? Oh, that did it. Okay, cool. Does anybody have any opinions on the new Pikachu movie since it just came out? Anybody seen it? Tough Gunny, have you even seen the new... Um, no. no, not that. Ranked. We're going to get some rank going. Um, I haven't done ranked in a while, actually. I haven't played this game really... With any real intensity in a while, for that matter. The uh, the new uh, the most recent, I guess, not new at this point. Um, Avengers movie, in game. All three, nice. Shara's DI, Danger Inc. Oh, okay. I've never fought this guy before, so let's see how this goes. Well, I mean, I haven't actually been in uh in a uh in a single player flash like this for a while either. Oh, that did not go the way I wanted it to. Nice dodge, I have to admit. Oh! Nice! That was solid! That was a fucking hell of a thing. That was nice. Oh, I should have waited just a little bit longer for that one. Ooh, that's a solid gimp right there, too. Alright, dude. See, my offstage game has been lacking. Quite a bit lacking. Because I haven't really been practicing it. Although the rest of my game is still pretty solid. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! There's a gimp! How you like that? How you like that? That was dumb. Mmm, nice. Ooh! Ooh, nice. I'm surprised he didn't hit me with that one. 
That was dumb. Ooh, wow. Nice! But not good enough. Game is solid. Got some interesting moves. You don't see those moves in the in the standard when you when you go to practice in, in like the um in the two player thing like I usually play because um so I just don't like the competitive side of this is fun but it's like it just gets I don't know a little too intense for me sometimes. Uh, not intense. That's maybe not the wrong word. I get too intense about it. Maybe that's the right word. Because, um, I mean, let's face it. <laughs> you you got this thing called ELO, and you got a number that drops every time you lose a match. And you're like, no, I don't want to lose that ELO. But you got to lose it sometimes, because that's the way it is. I feel kind of, if, if there was ELO, if there was a ranking system in Apex Legends, I would be so, I would be so fucking, oh, damn, that was nice. Oh, nice grab. Oh, that didn't work. Wow, that barely worked. Oh, nice. Oh, that miss? Seriously? Oh, well. Oh, did I just walk into that like a dumbass? Yeah, that didn't work. That's not what I wanted to do, but all right. Nice. Sweet. This guy's pretty solid with Frax. This is Vlax, right? Yeah, it's Frax. It's nice to play against somebody who's actually good with Lance. Ah. Uh, no! Nope. No! Shit. That was my own stupid fault. I bumped my head. Not what I want to do, but all right. Still not what I want to do. Ow, fuck. Oh, you're gonna put the shades on now, huh? No, oh, that, ah, shit. Ah, had to aim the wrong way, oh well. Yeah, I still suck at this game. I should, at some point, make a concerted effort to actually get into Diamond. Because, let's face it, I should be able to do it by now. Except on competition weekends. Because competition weekends, man, those are, the, those are the best weekends to actually practice and play. You get so many better players who have, uh, who have spent a lot of their time. Because, basically, everybody wants to practice on competition weekend. Uh, they do warm-ups, they, they do everything. Uh, otherwise, it's the only time you'll actually you'll, you'll actually get some good players out there. Mermzilla, play, I beat this person once, he's beat me once. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, it's actually a Roland versus Roland, actually. Oh, really? Oh, that was the wrong way, and it didn't matter anyway. Nice. Oh, I didn't fall off. Crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah! Uh, that's not good. Oh, okay. Recovered. There we go. Yeah, I stick with the Lance quite a bit. Oh, damn, this guy's good with his... Oh, nice! This guy's good with his hand. Is unarmed here, I have to admit. But not something I practice as much as I should have. Oh. Uh. And he's got some throws, too. Dang it, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I suspect I'm going to lose this to this guy. Yeah, I'm going to lose to this guy. This guy's pretty good at rolling. Mermzilla. Or at least I'm going to lose the first time. I'll probably pick it up on the second run. Ooh, how the fuck did he get out of that? Bye! Oh my god, I, I managed to, to gimp him out. Or not gimp him, but like freak him out. To so psych him out. Nice. His uh, his uh, addiction to unarmed kind of makes me wonder if he. There we go. If he if he's not a a, a Lance main or a Roland main, if he's just fucking around with Molin trying to Roland gonna trying to get up there. Cause um, usually you only you don't skip. Uh, you don't only stick, pick unarmed when you're better at unarmed than you are with the we other weapons. And let's let's face it, I mean, I'm better with the lance. But that's because I spent all my hours pay playing the lance. Hey, Valtiller. Uh, I'm just talking to myself because, you know, Twitch. I think I'm probably the only person here. I think Tough Gunny took... Uh, Tough Gunny was here for a minute, and so was Portal Wolf. But I think they both took off pretty quickly. <laughs> What am I doing? I'm facing off against a guy who's got a scythe, and scythe is not my favorite to fight against, to be honest. Ah. That's not what I want to do. There you go. It's a little better.
There we go. How is your evening going, Vault Dweller? I mean... Oh, am I still in just chatting, by the way? Oh, maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. Oh my goodness, it just occurred to me what you might be trying to say. Sorry, hold on. I will be fixing that. This guy's probably not happy that I'm out here. Ooh, that one. That one almost killed. Nice! Uh, hey, willis -san, how's it going? Ah, I was just waiting for that one. Twitch is good practice for radio broadcasting. I don't, I don't, I don't like new words like this. Podcasting, yeah. Also, what up, bro? Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while either, man. Uh, no, wait. You were here, like, just a couple days ago. What are you kind of talking about? You just came in and said hi. This guy is going to... I got to start paying attention to this. There we go. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, I hear the new Pikachu movie came out. You guys seen that yet? Good old Smokey couldn't stop himself from telling me about it. He loved it. It's not my favorite movie at all. It like, It's just not the kind of movie I normally watch. I'm not really into, well, for one thing, the video game movies. But for another thing, I was never into Pokemon like a lot of people are, apparently. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Twice. Ooh, all right, all right. When did Smokey tell you about all about it? He didn't tell me anything about it. He just said he really liked it. What? That should have hit. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, it's just earlier today. It was like, yeah, I don't know, 5.30 or something like that. This is some insanely, intensely ripped from Smash going on here. Yeah, it's true. It is kind of ripped from Smash. You are right. This does very remind me of that. Also, whatever. Uh, and anyway, my, yes, my phone just says just chatting. Oh, I need to fix that. That's my fault. That is totally my fault. I'm sorry. It's not just chatting right now. I completely forgot about Brahalla. There we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a Wii or anything like that or a, or a Nintendo. I have a PS4. So I play Brawlhalla because Brawlhalla is on the PS4 uh, instead of Smash. Uh, you're almost a decade too old to care about the Pokemons. Exactly. That's pretty much me. I'm, I'm like... I, I played one of the Pokemon games for a little bit. When when I was in college and people were like, oh my god, check it out. This is, like, this is my childhood or some shit. I'm like, alright, I'll check it out. And I was like, Ugh. I watched Pokemon the anime when it came out in the US. I, it was cool. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world for me. Though it wasn't, but it wasn't bad. It's like it had some pretty interesting plot lines, but it just wasn't interesting that much. Uh, compared to Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z was my thing for the longest time. Oh shit, 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 shit. Before it goes over the top of the edge of the glass. Anyway. Yeah, I am almost a little bit too old for that. I think I'm going to switch this up in another game or two. I'm I'm doing pretty well. I haven't quite yet beat my original, EL, my highest ELO, I think. What is my highest ELO? It's going to tell me in a sec. Uh, best ELO. Oh, this is my BS, best ELO. Oh, all right, cool. Or at least for season 12 it is. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I am totally a decade at two all for Pokemon. But have you, if anybody who have you guys seen it, what do you guys think of it so far? I mean, um, it, because because it's Pokemon, it just it's one of those movies that makes me go, eh, it's not really it's not something I want to watch. But Smokey said it was fun and funny, and um, and uh, it really helps that Deadpool is the is the main character, is the main actor. 
Deadpool plays Pikachu's Pikachu's Pikachu rather. Um, so so it, Ryan Riddles might have made it actually pretty funny. It might be just like a hilarious a movie. I don't know. Oh, it's sword against sword, huh? Why did I even do that? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that was too early. Ooh, nice. Ooh, interesting. Woo, we rock right into that one. Woo! Oh! Ooh, nice, nice recovery. Ryan Ridicule, Ryan Reynolds, who's that? Did you mean Deadpool? Yeah, I did mean Deadpool. <laughs> Introducing the newest Pokemon monster, Deadpool. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's that that meme's been going around too. Yeah. Because let's face it, I mean, Ryan Reynolds has done all, a few funny things, but his his biggest hit right now is Deadpool. Ah, jeez, this guy's good with his Aries bow. Woo, he's good with a bow. Damn, that's a full stock with no damage. And he's gonna switch the sword now. Interesting. Well, he might be able to kick my ass with this. Not especially if I keep fucking that up. Ah, oh, come on. All right, cool. Uh, it's not a two stock, at least. Oh, he's going to kick my butt. I can see that right now. Ah, there it goes. Uh, it, it, probably someone out there writing about how Deadpool made him the perfect Pikachu. Ah, could be, could be. Does game have sounds? Yeah, it's true. I have the I have the music up kind of loud one, and the sound down kind of a lot. Cause uh, this this the sound in this game is super loud on my headphones. Um, system settings. So I'll, I'll turn it up a bit for you. I have one more match here. Should be able to hear it now. I just, I just, I, Jesus, see? Okay, let's turn it, let's turn it down a notch. Let's try that. Actually, I don't know if you can see or not because uh, it's my headphones, not yours. Ah, uh, it sucked. Uh, this person's beat me once already. The Shadow Assassin's Pepper. Literally zero sound from the game is coming through the stream. Oh, you know what? No sound at all is coming through the stream now that I'm looking at it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to wait till I die or he dies or something.
How the fuck did I... Ah, what the fuck? That was weird. No, oh, it sucked. This is not going to work well. Let's be... Oh, shit, that was the wrong one. Guys, this is not going to work. Well, that worked. Oh, bye-bye. All right. Yay. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, fuck, I guess I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, uh, hold on a second. I'm sorry, guys. I know exactly what's going on. It's this stupid OBS does this sometimes. Seems like this guy's not that great at Lance. I could have hit him. Nah. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was my own stupid fault. Oh, well. That was rude. Uh, the stream terrible jazz. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna fucking just totally hose myself. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. That was stupid. That was so dumb. Oh, well. Okay, let me fix this. I apologize, guys. This is my fault. I didn't realize. I didn't even think to look. But yeah, the audio has not been coming through. There we go. So there's my Electro Swing Jazz that I've been listening to for the last... <laughs> the last uh, half an hour, hour or something like that. That was rude. Uh, hold on, hold on. Your mic is coming through clear. Also would like to be known that I want a Rocket Lance. You want a Rocket... Hell yeah, dude. Everyone wants a Rocket Lance. Uh, your voice and button pressing leaders here sound coming from the game. Yeah, okay. So I, I apologize if I've been missing some of the chat there. That's the way the game, it, you do a game like this, you're like, oh, I gotta do something. Jewels for sale, your mom, mommy, my, mommy me's, okay. It always blew my mind, mind watching people play Splash Tile, starting to be literally juggling several weapons off someone else's head until they fall off the map. <laughs> well, if, if I had, if I was a little more focused, I wouldn't have quite so much trouble. But yeah, it's, um, that didn't quite work. It's a skill. You gotta learn it if you want to be good at this game. I gotta turn that volume back down again. This guy seriously gonna just... Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I thought he might be gone for a sec. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. I gotta turn that down. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, yes, I am listening to music. It got turned down a bit. I turned it down because... Because I thought I couldn't hear it because of the music. Mm, this guy's good with those gimps. All right, let's get serious. Let's get serious this time. Maybe a little more serious than that. This guy is serious with those gimps. Damn. One more, because I can't leave it on downer on that one. Oh, I haven't beat this guy. I haven't fought this guy at all before. Swift. Hmm. 
Also, let me know if that music's a little too loud. It might be. It's hard to tell. It really is. Nice. Oh, really? That's a good, that's a good one. That's solid. Solid gravity cancel. Let's get that off the screen. So I probably shouldn't be drinking quite so much beer if I'm really... Oh, hold on. I can't read it. had a jump left oh well uh one major complaint about fallout tactics mod i'm playing uh the two largest factions that play and at war with each other the mod storylines are xenus and alkalids nothing at all subtle there okay xenus and alkalids Al alkidas Al alkidas okay i'm sorry alkalids i misread that alkidas uh, okay <laughs> so obviously i'm not signing on with alkidas in the first round and then the xenus can't say two words to you without reclaiming their love for money and wishing people would love leave them alone to make money. Oh my god. <laughs> that kind of sounds like a, the problem there is with Fallout 4, where none of the like none of the factions were worth really hanging out with. They were all losers. I mean, the. Uh, Let's see. Let, let me see. let me get, can, categorize them in sort of some sort of schoolyard way. Um, the Brotherhood of Steel were the schoolyard bullies because they went around bullying everybody and telling them you gotta you gotta, you're gonna take everybody's lunch money and shit. Uh, and then we got the um, uh, the the <laughs> uh, oh man. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to go the other way. Nice. Ooh, this guy's pretty good with that. Damn. Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck. There we go, I finally got a sword at least. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, who else we got? The, um... Are you shitting me? God damn. Boy, I thought he was gonna fucking fall off. This guy likes the shenanigans. Who's the least terrible? Yeah, that's basically it. Who is the worst or least worst? Are you sh that should have hit? That one fucking should have hit. That was bullshit. That should have hit. Anyway. That one also should have hit. Who is the coolest shit and you can con for as much as possible? That's a good... I guess that's a good way of looking at it. Did I get it? Yeah, all right, cool. That's a win. I'll go call it on that one. Uh, the railroad is the is the next one. The railroad. The railroads are like the geeks. Who who, who in and um. <laughs> in the political research club, whatever they call. Uh, anyway. Uh, no, you can let's see. I right, so you can you can con the railroad into giving up their super secret light armor waves weaves. Get yourself some full legendary stuff with combat weaves, and then be like, "Fuck you, I'm in the Brotherhood now." And go the dink, get the dink. But you could do that for all of them. You like be for you just get all their stuff up to the last quest, except for a couple that you know ban out the other ones. We were to basically Peta, uh, Peta. Yeah, I was gonna say Peta or what's that other one? Uh, because there was like when I was in high school, there was a group that was all they were anti uh, anti China because China was uh, oppressing. Um, and they still are, of course, uh, oppressing. What's that religious country where the Dalai Lama lives? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna call that for a little bit. Switch that up. No, don't, don't mute it. Um. Do you guys, do you guys ever have a time on? I think no, I don't know. But I know there was a, there I don't remember. I don't remember what they were called. There was totally there was a. Uh, there was there was a in high school when I was in high school, there was a group. Uh, not a group, rather, but rather like a club. You know, that, that you, the high school clubs were. There was a club, uh, you could join. It was um, oh man, what was it called? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna Google real quick. High school. Clubs in general. 
Like, I was in decathlon and stuff like that. Academic decathlon. Let me see. But there was, like... Um... Amnesty International. That's what I would call them. I would call them Amnesty International Club. Uh, that's that's who they were. They were the they were the geeks who were always they were always politically minded, and they were an Amnesty International, and they were all anti a, anti oppression of of whatever. You know that's that's who they were. That's that's who the that's who <laughs> that, that, that's who the railroad was, and um, and uh, who was the um. Oh, let's see who would who would the uh, um, oh man what were the other two there's like there's like four factions total uh, there's the one that Preston Garvey is uh, the Minutemen there's the Minutemen and then there's who would the Minutemen be and who would the um, who would uh, well, there's the fourth one um, we're with father um, what the hell's the name of it <laughs> God, for some reason, I'm just gonna Google it real quick so I can freaking remember the names. Uh, Fallout for Jehovah's Witnesses. The Institute is Auschwitz. There you go. The Institute. Think that's what I'm thinking of. Auschwitz is what he like. Yeah, the Institute is basically they're, they're basically the Nazis. Honestly, like they just they so very much their ideals are of the Nazis, the same as the Nazi parties, except it's not Jews. Instead, it's like humans. They have a racist superiority complex. Just, yeah, no. And I've said that before anyway. But yeah. Auschwitz. Not exactly, but yeah. Um, but like, like I I guess I might put them as the jocks. No, no, that wouldn't be the jocks. Because the jocks are definitely uh, the, the Brotherhood of Steel in that game. Um... I don't know. I don't know how I would put them as, as exactly, except it's like they're they're clearly some sort of authoritarian system. But anyway, um, obviously, what would the minimum be? Minimum could be. I guess they could be like, like, like the anime nerds at the corner table who don't really do anything. Jocks. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jacques. Yeah, that's right. I did say Jacques instead of Jocks. Minimum definitely Jehovah's Witnesses, I suppose. So. I suppose they could be, yeah. That's true. That's true. Let's pull some Apex Legends for a bit. I don't know, man. Anything you guys want me to play? I guess I could play some Fallout for a little bit. But I have to edit it. Anyway. Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, I've only, I've only had like a couple encounters with Jehovah's Witnesses. It's not like they come by on a weekly basis or anything. It's odd. It's really odd. You know what's crazy? Not Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, Mormons. Although I suppose the, probably the Jehovah's Witnesses girls are kind of cute too. But the Mormon girls, they're super cute. When they come, when they come to your door and knock on your knock on your door and be like, "Do you want to talk about you know God or whatever?" And I'm like, it's really hard to turn them away because they're cute. But anyway, play edit Fallout. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Let me let me lose a couple games here first, and I will probably switch over to edit Fallout because, quite frankly, yeah, I'm gonna lose a couple games, and I'm gonna get disgustingly tired of this shit pretty quick. Um, that's not a bad idea at all. What would I do? What would I edit? I could fuck around with the map. I I kind of fucked around with the map one time, made a little little scripted sequence, but it was just a death claw walking forward. That was about it. That's all I managed to get him to do. Um, no, I guess, I guess Miniman might be the math club, like, anime, like, like, the nerdy guys in the corner. They don't really do anything. Who would be the stoner group? Who could be the stoner? No, the Miniman might be the stoner group, but no, I, I guess you'd have to say, for Fallout 4, it would be, like, the, um, the, um, just, just the Raiders or some shit or other. Or, fuck, I don't know, man. 
leave Pathfinder. Pathfinder is still my favorite. Uh, we got online here. Oh, Smokey's away. And then I got a couple. I got one person on here. And Pip Dog's not, not playing right now, but oh well. Huh. Let's see. And, and are there any other factions that I'm missing? I, I guess you could call the individual towns kind of factions. No, not really, because there's only really one town in all of Fallout 4. You know, and that's one thing that always bugged me about Fallout 4. For as huge as Fallout 4 is, there's only one real town. Right? Maybe maybe two with the DLCs. I don't count the Raider place in, in, um, in the Nuka-Cola world, because that's not really a town. That's just freaking Nuka-Cola world. Just hobbit inhabited by readers. There's only, uh, but besides um, the the DLC, the um, the is it junior high school, dude? I think they are. I swear to God, they are. That's exactly what it plays out like. And that's my, you know what? And that's kind of my issue with much of the writing that comes out today in the movies and your TV shows. It's like everybody just graduated from fucking high school and they're writing the same shit that happened to them in high school into their TV shows. And I'm like, really? This is what you're writing about? I am almost through with season two finale of, of, um, of, um, of, uh, of, of Voyager. And oh my god, it feels like I'm watching a high school drama half the time. It just occurred to me. It's just like it feels... Chakotay had his had his DNA stolen by the the, the Cardassian betrayer chick. And oh, I hate when it, when somebody else takes my thing. But oh, it's all right. And and he and he has to consult his spirit guide, uh, his his spirit father or uncle or whatever is the uncle who touched him in a previous episode. I don't know. It was stupid. <laughs> I mean, he didn't really touch me. I'm just kind of making fun of it. But um, let me move this down. No, I'm not gonna be jump faster. Fuck you. Fuck you. You take a jump faster. Um, I'm the jump faster. I won't let you down. Yeah, you took my you took my shit. You get to be the jump master. <laughs> anyway, um, and 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 uh, the uncle makes it all about whether or not the child should be adopted. And I'm like, the child is not the problem. The bitch who stole his DNA and made the child. That's the problem. Why are you focusing on the child? In the beginning, that's like the first half of the episode is about the child. It just, I, I just, and then the last half of the episode is everybody's dying. Everybody's blowing shit up and it's, it's a little better, but, but it's still a terrible, it's still a pretty badly written episode. And that's where I'm like, I don't understand why writing is so terrible in so many shows. But whatever, where's this guy at? Where's this guy at? Where's this guy at? All right, it's not here. He's not here. You got him. You got him. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna guard. I'm gonna guard. I'm gonna guard. You got him. All right. Oh shit. Where is he at? I see him right. He's like somewhere right there. I swear to God. Oh, I hit him a couple times. Out of ammo. That's not good. I should have gone inside. All right, I'm inside now. Good luck, guys. And he's right behind you. That guy's gonna be taken out pretty quick. The other guy disconnected already. Anyway. There we go. Anyway, but yeah, but I'm like... That's that's the quality of writing I see, is it feels like people came out of high school and that's what they're writing their shows for. Oh, Voyager, yeah. Well, I finally made it to the end of season two. I'm hoping, like you say, Season three picks it up a bit. Like you, you said the first two seasons were were pretty bad, and I'm I'm pretty much agreeing with you on that. The first two seasons are pretty terrible. <laughs> What's a Kraken? <laughs> Kraken's gonna get me. The tentacle, the Voyager tentacles will get me. Oh, do I actually get to be my character this time? Yay! But yeah, man. I mean, I don't need to rant about that shit for no good reason. That's silly. But still, I mean, I'm still trying to make my way through it slowly, slowly, because I have to, every 10 minutes of almost every single episode, I have to say, oh my god, this is dumb. This is the dumb, dumbest thing I've ever, I've ever, I've heard in a while. I have to pause the episode, alt tab, I go to a, watch something else for a little bit, not necessarily alt tab, I'll go watch some other stupid thing for a little while. 
I think three might still be bad. Maybe less bad. I hope less bad. I hope the writer has figured something out. What the hell if I know, man? Hell if I know. No, I'm not going to be Jump Master. You guys be Jump Master. Oh, I guess it wouldn't be a big deal if I was a Jump Master. Since I got my own character this time. But I'm still running at, at like 30 frames a second. You can see it right there. 31, 32. Alright. And I got a shitty map. Have fun. Oh, it's too bad people don't know. People, you know what's funny? I have so many people asking me what GLHF in this game stands for. Because apparently nobody's a GLHFs in this game, ever. I'm the only person I've ever seen doing it, and I do it intentionally because I'm like, I want to see other people GLHF in this game. Oh, somebody got, oh, I should have grabbed that purple. Oh, well, somebody else got it. Oh, I see one right there. It's, it's uh, like there's so many people are like what, what what does GLHF mean? And I'm like it, good luck have fun. I mean like nope. I'm like you don't know. I mean how, how long has that been around for? Oh well, whatever. It's probably because most of the game's remaining population is from the Fortnite demographic, I suppose. Might have been wrong. It might have been noticeably better until season four. <laughs> or, uh, might not be noticeably better. Okay. I made it possible. I don't know. Let me see if there's anything better than this. Not really so far. Uh, I don't need that. Alright, so somebody went over there. I will take that R99. Thank you. Die, die, die! Shoot, I overshot that one a little bit. Well, I'm hoping season three isn't as terrible as season two has been so far. Oh, somebody else grabbed me. No, there he is. I'm right. in the wrong building. Yeah, season two is pretty bad. I don't have that many rounds. I got a level two, don't I? Yeah. It looks like we basically got here empty. Uh, that guy saw somebody, I guess. No, he didn't. Okay. All right, let's see what we can find. Uh, I got, I got a blue already. Let me just ping that for somebody. Ugh, but yeah, man, I, I have, I am having a lot. I, ha, I I'm, I'm, you know, when all you watch are bad shows, it gets, it gets really, it gets really old really quick. All right, let me swap this out for you. Oh, I'll take that. All right, cool. Um, I I pinged one for you, dude. Whatever. You know, I'll just I'll go and drop this and ping it for him. What a really good show, Lucifer released a new. I saw Lucifer came out. Um, I hadn't. I hadn't watched it yet because a lot of Netflix shows make me go, eh. A lot of Netflix shows make me go, eh. A couple of them are good, though. Like, uh, the first season of, um, well, there were a lot of episodes from first and second season that I just refused to watch. I think starting watching every episode at season three, so it's probably better. That's, that's a good, that's a reasonable assumption, I would think. That's a reasonable good idea. Um... Light ammo, I don't. I got. I got three stacks of light ammo. I'm good. I'll grab that. Uh, this right here. R99 here. Attention. The champion has been eliminated. Um. Ooh, nice. Extended light map here. Level two. I don't need a havoc. Okay, let's take that and let's drop that egg for straight eight rounds. There we go. Uh, what do we got? There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. 
I usually keep my uh, high, long range weapons in the left hand slot, but it's kind of arbitrary which one's long range right now. All right, where's this guy going? I really wish I had a better mouse. I really do. I need better optics. Oh my god, did I just fall down like a dumbass? Helmet here. Level two. Adult Swim just told me to play duck duck game on Adult Swim. <laughs> Alright. I hope it's cool. I hope it's fun. Longbow here. I could use that. Uh longbow, me. Prowler SMG here. Prowler without a select fire. Meh. Attention. Delivery care package. Meh. Maybe. Maybe, but, eh. Oh, I don't, oh, fuck it, whatever. I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this for now. This is not the best loadout I've ever had, but it's okay. Maybe when I sit at my desk. Oh, I gotcha. All right, well, I got this. Pathfinder guy, so I'm going to go use this thing while I still can. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to wait till the, I'm going to wait till the thing comes in. I still need some better optics. Oh, can I, can I, uh, 96, 97% almost there. There we go. Let's get down there. What? That was weird. All right. As soon as the circle comes in and, and hits, I'm gonna I'm gonna go run back up there and hit that thing. There's nothing here. Shoot, this sucks. It's all yours if you want it. I'm consuming nutritional matter. Well, nice. Congrats, I guess. All right, that's about it. That's about all there is here. Let's go see what he's looking for. Nothing. All right. All right. So let me get back up there. Can't quite make it. All right. I can't use sniper. I don't want sniper optics. Oh, come on. Seriously. That's not what I wanted to do. I did. I just disconnected like a dumbass. All right, let's get up there. Let's find out where the next circle will be, so we can have a, a possibly an advantage. Oh hey, it's right, right here already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right out there. Let me get up here easily. V vegetables, v j j tables, v j j tables. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I don't know. This guy keeps keeps finding level two helmets. Oh, was it level three? No, that was just sniper. I don't need level two helmets. Come on. I'd like a peacekeeper, that'd be nice. Uh, some rest fill up my rest of my shotgun shells, I guess. I found recently that the R99 is very, very useful in close quarters combat. Like super useful. Extended light mag Anybody needs one? I don't think anybody needs one, though. I think we're at the point where we're just pretty much looted up and we're just waiting for the enemy to come to us. Can I eat any sort of opt optics on it anyway? Who's ready to fly on a zipline? 
It's so tasty too. Vitamina Vegemin. Yeah, <laughs> Vitamina Vegemin, exactly. Vitamina Vegemin. <laughs> Contains 100% of your daily vitamins and minerals and me and vegetables and whatever. I don't know. Okay, there's some people over here. I don't know if I want to go to get in fight or if I want to just kind of hang out and wait for them to come to us. I mean, basically what will happen is when we wait is just one team will be left. And it'll be the best team, of course, because they went around killing everybody. And we'll probably lose because it's the best team playing right there. Yep, I bet they have. But not right there. They hadn't been there at all. You want to go over there? Uh, that doesn't seem like the best place for me to go. Ah, I, I can never quite get up there. I always mess that up. This one spot in particular. <laughs> yeah, it's just so tasty. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, what's her name? Makes that terrible face. Okay, I guess they want to hunt, so I guess we're going to go hunting. I have terrible optics. Oh my god, they are really right there. Holy shit. Okay, well, let's um, let's take that spot right there. That seems like a good spot. Probably a bad spot. Oh shit. They're right there. Oh, but they're in the... They're inside the ring, too. Which means we're going to have a slightly easier time killing them. Because they're getting hurt by the ring, too. Get out there. We just gotta, we just gotta back up a little bit, get inside the ring. Oh, hello. Oh, the ring! Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? I know that guy fell down somewhere. Swap that out. I like my shotguns in this number two slot. Got a purple. Got a purple. He does not. I'll take that though. That. I. I'm good. I'm good there. Should tag your Fallout streams as educational. <laughs> kind of think they are. Might sometimes. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where's this guy at? Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that much. I can't believe that guy missed me that many times. I can't believe I missed that many times. Alright, well we got some we got some kills. That's cool. He's got a purple, he's got a purple. Alright, there we go. Let's grab that. Let's grab that too. Eh, that's okay. Alright, I think I'm- Oh, I'm gonna grab that, just in case, because that's usually pretty superior. Oh, okay, here we go. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? That guy missed me so many times! Alright, he got him. He's just invisible right now, somewhere. There he is, he's over here. Ah, oh, man, seriously? We got some kills. We got some kills, though. That's a good, solid play, I think. I can't believe it. Yeah, dude. Well, in part, it's because my mouse sucks, and his mouse probably sucks, too. I know damn well my mouse sucks. Really bad. Really bad. Oh, my God. This thing is just hidden under here. Jeez. That guy was just hiding, hoping he could get his way out. Can I get up here? Can I get up here? Can I get up here, please? No. Okay. Can I, can I, can I like, we go this way. help me, guys, somebody res me, I'm right here, 
We got three swords left, but I'm right here. I got a... I don't have one. Shoot. Okay, well, I'll just do that. Oh my god, the lag is terrible. He's right. Oh my god. This is actually not the worst match I've ever had, but it's definitely not the best either. You got it? You got it? Is he getting it? Oh man, there's no way I'm going to make it. There's nobody anybody that's going to make it. Sorry dude, I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. There's no way I'm going to make it though. No. Oh man. Oh well, that was a good game though. We got some kills out of it. That was good. I got 336 damage. We all got plus 300 damage. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, maybe like, so feel, guys, don't feel terribly bad if, if you miss a whole bunch of shots. That's normal in this game. Everybody misses in this game. It's what makes this game fun. <laughs> when it sucks is when everybody's just shooting you straight up and you're like, ah! You die right away. Anyway. What was I talking about? I was talking about something else earlier. You see, hold on. Oh yeah, uh, Lucille Ball and, and <laughs> Vitamina Benjamin. But you know what? Um, I didn't know uh, what Vegemite was, honestly, until I, uh, uh, it started a, it showed up as B-mite or Bemite or Bemite or something like that. Pardon me, in Japanese. And uh, in um, the Battle Angel Alito manga, the most recent uh, chapters of the Battle Angel Alito manga, they actually make a lot of references to Vegemite, although they call it Bemite in there. I can't believe everyone has one perception. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I mean, this this game really does require... It needs a little more optimization. It really does require a hefty GPU. It really does. And I do not have a hefty GPU. I have a halfway decent GPU does the job most of the time. Awesome. I can't stream it though. Master. And I can I can typically just kind of barely play it. Oh, there's only one other person with me? Well shit, I guess we're just gonna go down here. I say we land here. here we go. It's a long drop. This is a halfway decent loot place most of the time. Um but yeah one perception is a normal thing in this game. Totally normal. I wonder I wonder if the last team won because we lost like that. Oh my god, that sucked. But you notice that frame rate dropped to like in the 20s for a second there. Oh well. Ah, no weapons, seriously? No guns? There we go, there's something finally. Give him a body shield, make sure he knows about it. I don't want to do this. Barely playing plus streaming this. Yeah, dude, I am barely playing plus streaming this. This is um, this is really taking up all of my processor power, and my CPU is overheating right now. I can I can feel it right next to me, just kind of taking all of of the of the heat. Oh shit. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this instead of the alternator. This seems like a bad choice, maybe, but we'll see how it turns out. R99. I'm, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Looks like some enemies have been here. Forget that. That was me. Oh, he, oh, he's got a mic. Okay, go. Cool. He 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 grabbed the R. Okay, he already grabbed the R99. I wanted that, but he grabbed it. All right, that's no big deal. That's normal. Uh, I'm gonna drop you. For, wait, no. Yeah, I'm gonna drop you for now. If I pick up something better later, I'll I'll swap it out. But oh, I don't need that. I need that. Thank you. 
Uh, we're gonna take that. We're definitely gonna take that. And that. And then there we go. And uh, there we go. With that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now I just need some ammo. Let's swap these out. At what point can I say I can't believe it's not butter? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh. No, all right. Well, the first half of the squad's loose fast. It's funny. Okay, I'll go that way. Come on. Peg, peg it. There we go. There we go. There's some ammo for the shotgun. Take that. All right. Okay, I kind of wanted that R99, but it's not a big deal. I got a level two. I can't be another team won if you lost. Well, I mean, what I what I was wondering is if they won because we lost, you know, because um, because we just immediately like we we died to the circle, so the last team won. You know, the last team alive actually won because just because we died to the circle, something dumb like that. That's what I was wondering. Which is entirely possible. <laughs> I don't think that was the case, though. I, I'm, I'm letting him have it if he has it. Does he need that? Yeah, he needs it. Okay, cool. Yeah, sniper stock's not my thing. Right now. At some point, maybe. Um, dang it. Okay, I'm full. I'm pretty much full on everything. Uh, I could use I could use another one of those and maybe some more health packs. But I see nothing here I particularly want really that I don't already have. There we go. Oh, hello. Havoc. No. I know Havoc's actually a solid weapon, but... It's not my thing. I think what I got is okay. I don't know where this guy wants to go. I guess we'll check these out real quick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get something tagged up there. Come on. Come on. There it is. Mm, no. No. Good. In fact, I have to expect my computer to just dip out in the next 20 to 30 minutes because it's done this before it's totally just just overheated and crashed i don't know if it's done it in the middle of the stream though but it's totally done that oh i thought that was something for me okay no i need a helmet now that i'm thinking about it i just looked at it my, my thing i'm like i need a helmet Ugh. Anybody wants a hemlock, which can be solid gun. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. This is, um, this is... Uh, I don't really have the equipment for this. You know what, we're going to swap out the R301 for that. We're going to do that. I'm going to do that for a little bit. If I find an R99, I'll swap it back. Where'd that guy go? He went the opposite way I'm going. Alright, well. Uh, got all that. Yeah, I'm full. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, alright. Okay, so this guy's, this guy's definitely going this way. I'll follow him. Get 
got there. Man, why? See, it, it, it should it should easily be able to hit the top of the roof, but it's not doing it. So it doesn't make any sense. They really need to work on this a little bit. Let me see. What, where's the map at? Okay, let's give a couple more seconds for the close in. I'm gonna grab that. One second, and okay. And the next one's starting. Let's see, here we go. There we go. All right. We got an idea where, okay, uh, we need to be in Skulltown, it looks like. It's like Skulltown's the place to be. Uh, I'll take that, though. I got a level three. I need more. I need more of this ammo, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I guess I'll drop that for now. Oh, there's a helmet. Excellent. Level two. Nice. I don't know how it's going to last me against the in-game guys, but we'll see. Anything interesting over here? Not really. I'll take that. A nerd, a geek, and a dork walk into a bar, and I can't tell the difference. <laughs> no, you're probably right, dude. I can't tell the difference. There's no way. I got one of these already. I'm good. Okay. Oh wait, I have some shotgun. Okay, okay. What do you got? What do you got? What? You... you just closed the door on me. Okay, here you go, man. My bad. I didn't realize this is what you were trying to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right there. Right there. Oh, shit. Seriously? Oh, that was quick. Cheater. Okay, piece of cheater. Spectate. Let's we'll see him. He did pop us really quick. Both of us at the same time. Yeah, it's true. Sorry for the lack of middle and jumping to the end. Non sequiturs are awesome, dude. It's cool. I noticed. But I've also seen our 99s melt. Quick. Oh, for 276 games, 114 top three. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, now, there have been reports about Apex Legends, a lot of the cheaters. Um, recently, yeah. Uh, recently, like in the last week, uh, Apex Legends, ha the, the developers of Apex Legends have banned, like, three quarters of a million people. Or three quarters of a million accounts, not three quarters of a million people. Three quarters of a million accounts. Goofy stats have banned people. Well. I think they're relying on um, player reports right now. Um, see, they, they banned three quarters of a million people for cheating. Or three quarters of a million accounts, rather, for cheating. Um, and I think a lot of that really got implemented when... Yeah, that's, that's cheating. That's cheating right there. You can just watch him. Let's just watch him for a sec. You can just watch this shit... 
Yep. Saw that lock on. Uh, how do I ban him? Hold R to report player. Cheating. Snapping to targets. Yeah, this guy, this guy's totally cheating. Um. Yep. Well, I've melted somebody, <laughs> but only right next to them. Not headshots. But yeah. But yeah, this guy is totally cheating. And his account's not going to last too much longer, if we can help it. Uh, and that's what happens. It's like, there were uh, uh, Apex Legends, when they started implementing this report system, because they didn't have this before, um, once, they, once they implemented this within the last, with, which was within the last month, it's within the last, like, two updates. I think there's only been two updates, and I think the most recent one was probably the when they implemented this. Uh, this they they've they banned it. They banned three quarters of a million accounts, and it's because so many people are cheating, like this guy right here. And um, I'm not sure why exactly they're cheating. I think there's some sort of financial gain to it because of the loot boxes and stuff. What the hell have I know? Um, but a lot of people, uh, the 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 cheating accounts couldn't quite figure out how, why they were getting banned. What, what they were using to detect their, their cheats. And, it, and I'm pretty sure most of it... I think that guy's also cheating. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure most of it... Yeah. That's too bad. Oh, well. Let me just, let me just report him one more time. Oh, I can't report him now. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of it's from player reports. Because this is... You see that kind of crap, you're like, no. That's not okay. I want to be able to enjoy the game and have an honest fight and not get pegged in the head by, uh, by an aimbot, which is bullshit. This game is pretty fun, especially if you can get it up in, a, in the high 60 to 75 frame rate. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, at 30 frames a second, which is where I'm playing it at, it's not that not really that fun. But it's still okay. It's still okay. Like, we did have a good fight there first round. There weren't any cheaters. Everybody was... The only reason we died is because we sucked at getting out of the ring. I, I had some indecision. I couldn't just jump on the... I, I was thinking about going back and resing some of the guys, but I was like, no, that's not going to happen. All right, Willison, have a nice night, man. Thanks for hanging out. You've been cool, dude. This is my last game for this. I think I will switch up to some some Fallout editing or something. Um, but then I don't think I'll be streaming for terribly much longer either. But thank you for hanging out, dude. But anyway, uh, so it's it's it really is a lot more fun when there aren't any people trying to cheat their way through it. Chef, I forgot F also mutes people. Oh wait, yeah, whatever. I'll just yell Chef now. I wish they would take. I wish they would take F out of the chat for muting you people. Oh well. Excellent. Time to destroy more opponents. Uh, how much beer do I have left? Oh, I have. I have this much beer left. Holy shit! So much beer I have left. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see that. Kind of see it. Yeah, you see that level. Oh my god. I didn't realize I was this, this much left. I need to start working on this. I'm the chum. Uh, Alright, fine. Alright, uh, let's just go. Yeah, let's just go right here. Go down, go down. Stop fighting the current. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh shit! There's some people here. Ah, oh, I got a gun. I got a gun at least. Oh! I hit nothing. Oh my god! He's oh he's got a shotgun. He's got a shotgun. All right, cool. I need help. 
Oh, I do, I do, I do. Shit, this guy's right outside. Damn it! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, knock one! Ah, oh, that's not where I wanted to go! Ah, I ran out of ammo. Oh, well. You're, you're the chosen one. Time to enter the Temple of Trials. Off. Now off with you. Uh, now off with the... Uh, yeah, go prove your worthiness of being called the chosen one. Exactly. Exactly, man. I got 83 damage out of that. That sucked. Oh, well. Uh, I got a knock, but not a kill. Sorry, right, it's like every every maybe five or ten games I get a, a, a solid way into it. Takes a takes a minute. Takes a minute. Um, and but when you start getting a solid way into it, it's usually about a ten to twenty minute game out of that. But other than that, it's usually like a, a minute or two at a time. Maybe maybe three minutes if you if you manage to last a couple seconds before they actually kill you. Uh, anyway. Is that really all the electro string I have? I thought I had more. Huh, okay. Temple of Trials? Is this a joke? Oh, I don't know. This is all, this is very trial-y for me. I can't wait to get down there do a job. Pardon me. I am ready. I hope you are too. Oh, Navarro also mentioned that he would That's what I keep telling myself. he would actually take a look at some of those scripts that look like they might not be like like they might be kind of bugged. Where it, it, the text says specifically that they should work, but they're not working for me when I was playing the game for uh, for Nevada anyway. So I have to. I mean, maybe I should just pull up some of those maps. Like there's one, the massage one is is one right there where I have I have agility seven and something else seven whatever it was there there there's there they're in the text for the checks oh i don't know that stuff well enough to actually be able to figure that out come on okay because then i have to find what file holds the um holds the holds the text and what file holds the scripts themselves and then i have to figure out which scripts are tricking for which i like to see more ar ar arrogant dialogue in arroyo what do you mean arrogant dialogue Dang it. Okay, we'll get the guy on the side. I'll take an R99. Thank you. I will take that very much. Thank you. I just need some armor. Okay, we'll take that. I don't know. I'll grab that, I guess. Uh, I'll take that instead of Havoc. Okay, we got a we got a reasonable start here. Not the best I've ever seen, but it's okay. Guy's gonna drop his heavy ammo. All right, cool. Oh, okay. Where are they at? Where are they at? Okay, I got a knock. There's another. There's two other people here somewhere. Happen to run into another team at the same time. Nice. 
Nice. Too good for this place? Too good for this place. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Wish my mouse didn't suck. I need help. Precision choke, that's it. Alright. Kinda want the precision choke, but not really. I think I got a kill with that with that knock that I got. Oh alright, I'll take the syringe though. Where are the other dead dead guys at? Right, we're down to 50 left, kids. Yeah, that's a pretty easy match. What too good for this play? Well, I mean, other I think the most most of the arrogant lines in Fallout 2 that I can think of are with um Uh, with, uh, where are we going? Where are we going, dude? Where are we going? This way? Okay. Or with, um... Where are we going? Where are you guys going? Hey. Make up your mind. I'm gonna go this way then. Forget you. Oh, no, that's not a bad way to go. Uh, looks like Hakunin. Not, yeah, Hakunin. So Hakunin's like, like he could be a total douche to Hakunin, say a bunch of shitty stuff to him. But that's the only, that's the most arrogant I can think that she could actually be in the game. Ooh, give me that, give me that gun. Thank you. I guess I'll grab that. No, I don't need a sniper. Watch out for the yeah, we're good. Leader, friend. Here. Stock here. Uh, that's very that's so incredibly tempting, it's ridiculous it's how tempting that is. That's that's ridiculous how tempting this stuff that out. I, I kind of want it, but... Uh, no. No, I'm going to avoid that for now. I won't get it right now. Oh, no, I want that. Did I drop that by accident? Jeez. Oh, he must have picked it back up. All right. Kicking myself for that. I thought I picked it up. I must have dropped it. Oh, well. Maybe the Kaga character restoration mob is meant to embody that to some degree. I suppose. Eva eight here. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna grab the Eva eight. I'm gonna swap that out right there. Drop one of those. There. Ah, okay. Shotgun bolt here. Level two. Oh, oh, oh! No, I'm just gonna take this. Forget that. I'm gonna do right there, and we're gonna drop that. I think I'm good. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Woo! I didn't realize we were that close to the uh, border there. 
It's too bad the Kaga character never got actually implemented. What do you, what do you got? R301? Okay. In the original game. I need that, thank you. Thank you. What do we got? Uh I've got a full set. I've got a, I need some more those. I got plenty of these, I think. Um need some heavy rounds, maybe. Thanks. We're good. About as good as I can get. I need a I need a like a heavy mag and stuff, but other than that. I don't think I've found one yet. Where, 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 where? Alright, I'm gonna swap it up and let's see if we can get in here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah, that was all my ammo! Ah, oh, the shield dropped. Oh well. Alright, that's good. I had shit for mag. I didn't realize I had such a small mag, but oh well. Ah, oh, 76 damage, that sucks. Alright, let's not crash my computer today. Let's call it a night. Hold on, what's on here? No, I'm gonna call it a night there. Alright. So let's mess around with the Fallout, Fallout scripting stuff for a second. I guess I'll go with just chatting. Fallout mapper. Maybe the the thought having a, a nemesis wasn't interesting enough. Hmm. Um, I think more that they didn't really, it was, pr it might have been one of those last minute things, but I mean, like, it wasn't necessarily part of the primary, primary, what do you call it? Get in there. Goal of the, um. Of the, um, man, I wish it wasn't so tiny. Primary goal of the, um, of the game itself. So it, ended, I, I mean, it got all this stuff, all that stuff got cut one way or another. Let me see, can I, like, can I tell it to open a specific? Oh no, I'd have to, I'd have to set, um, I'd have to set the uh, the settings for this thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can't set the settings for this thing. So if I go to the mapper and open file location, uh, it might be a little too junior high. That's kind of true. But I mean, what the question also? Well, that is kind of true because they were going for ultra violence with the game, uh, with both games. So maybe they were going for. Um, Something that didn't necessarily mash with the, I, I guess, slightly more adult-oriented audience they were going for. I feel like I have to crack, I have to, oh my god, why isn't it doing this? I have to, I have to open, I have to reboot my computer, I feel like, oh, there it is, okay. Like a bunch of stuff isn't working quite right. <sighs> But anyway, okay, so let's see. Let's hit the res.ini. No, is this it? No. Config. So if I wanted to mess with... Um... There we go. I want to change these two to wherever I've got um, Nevada mod at. So let's take a look. Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry. It's not, that's not the right one. There we go. So... 
so it should be under Steam, I think. I think that's where I put it. Steam apps, common. Nevada. I think this is the one. Yeah, I think this is the one. After I got it all working. Actually, it should be easier to check out if I just go to the Nevada shortcut and uh, tell it to open find location. Common uh, followed in Nevada, so followed in Nevada. Okay, so this is not it. This one, here we go. I have a bunch of duplicates of this. <laughs> okay, so um, the the two that I want to change here are this is going to change right there. The path. Oops, not that one. And I don't want critter dot dot. Do I? Yeah, critter dot dot is fine. And I don't think that this is necessary. And then there's this. Oops. God dang it. Stop it. Copy. Paste. And I think I can get rid of this. And I think that'll do it. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that, I think that did work, but um, I, that's not a good map to check. So let's see what else we got. Um, nope, that's not it at all. That's not it at all, nope. Oh yeah, it is it. They just renamed all... Okay, so this is a mod where they just renamed all the... or They, they kept the same names for the... For the, uh... I think it's one of these guys, maybe. No, it's not this one. For the uh, the maps, but they just they just create a new map for each same name. All right, no, that's not true because there's some different ones. That's a random thing I haven't been to yet. All right, but I want to. All right, you know what? Actually, first thing I want to do though is probably open up Nevada. And find that one character. Thank you. Where am I? In Reno? That's a pretty good place to start. Okay. Let's see if it... Okay, so the, the boxing is like... Is downstairs somewhere? I don't remember exactly where though. Is it here? No, there's no downstairs there. Let's go check out next door here. So I gotta find out which map it's on first. No, okay, I can't go downstairs here. Fine. Uh, all right. Let's go down here. Um, here burlesque? No, that's not it. No, it's not it there. Uh, El Dorado. Should it be El Dorado? Um, okay, there's the downstairs. There's the ring. Okay, cool. So it's either this one or it's the one in, in Vegas. Okay, no. No. No, no. Okay. Or it's possibly the one in the Slaver's Guild, too. That could be there. But I think it's the one in Vegas. I don't know. We're going to find out real quick. A real slow. Something like that. I'm pretty fucking toasty right now, too. This is probably not the best thing to do while I'm toasty on his stream. Oh my god, I'm actually really toasty. Okay, um... Let's see, let's check out... Um... Let's check out Vegas. Let's go straight there and see what happens. I just loaded up a random save. It doesn't really matter which one I loaded up. Where am I? Squad of Hunters? Where's my character? Am I invisible again? No, I'm not invisible. Okay. Thought it might be invisible for a second. Probably should just go make my character invisible. Uh, someone with a huge cleaver passed through here. 
Not long ago, the track study is headed, is headed west. A huge cleaver. Uh, I guess. That's cool. That's cool. All right, all right. We'll visit that. Pardon me. We'll visit that sooner or later. Oh, God, give me a break with the Squad of Hunters crap. In fact, give me a break with all the encounters, guys. I don't want to deal with this shit. Ah, oh, God, not the dogs. No, especially not the dogs. Now they're all going to get two turns. And they're going to surround me. No, they didn't surround me. Okay, I guess. Alright. So we're going to bypass Wind of War because I'm pretty sure there was no boxing in Wind of War. Yeah, I'm almost certain there was no boxing or something in the war. And um, we're going to hit the Las Vegas. So I, I know there's a boxing in Las Vegas. I think there might have been one other place with boxing, but I don't remember right now. All right, Slaves Town. Ha oh, hello. That was weird. That didn't usually happen. Had boxing. You can hear it boxing going on. Okay, let's go see. Where's the downstairs? There it is. Okay, so it's this guy. Okay, so it's in um, it's in it's in Vegas for sure. Okay, so uh, let's exit that game. So if we go, if we open up the mapper again, here it is. Let's bring it up. There you go. Open up the mapper again. We go to. So it's not. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool looking. Dang, I haven't found one of these yet. It's one of the random encounters. Can I get show different levels? No, that's not what I want. There it goes. Oh, 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 oh wow. This is cool. <laughs> this is awesome. This is freaking cool. It's too bad the map size of this second and third map don't actually map match the size of the of the of the upper level map. This is cool though. What was that supposed to be right there? Oh. Okay. No, I don't want to quit. I want to file open. I want to find. Uh, it would be Las Vegas, or probably be Vegas. Um, is it might be city, I guess? Do 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 desert, uh, Ian, C Enclave, probably. G Gam movie? Gam movie, what's this? Okay. Whatever. Gam movie, how interesting. Kick, 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 kick. Harrelson military base. Uh, Mountain. NCR. I guess the NCR is supposed to be here. New Reno. Old Turby VC. Old Tribe. Random stuff. S SF? Really? Did they just not get rid of him? Oh, they just renamed the map. They, they just kept the same map name. That's what it was. Okay, that means that I have no idea I'll have to go through every single map name, one at a time. That sucks. Until I find the map that matches uh, Las Vegas. So, AR, AR dead, okay. AR garden. A lot of places I have not been yet. I think a lot of these are random encounters, though. AR temple. What? I have... Vault 8. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've been here yet. No, wait, that's Vault. That's Vault. That's the base Vault. That's where you start out at. Duh. This is also Vault 8. Betty? Betty? Uh, I feel like I probably haven't been here yet. Brum, brum, brum. No, not this one. Okay. Also, brum, brum, brum. Okay. Oops. No, don't save. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter because I didn't actually change anything, but whatever. 
Bernard Bernard Mountain. Okay. A Black Rock. Well, this one's still Black Rock. How odd. Black Rock 2. B part. What? Definitely haven't been here. Oh, they oh, I definitely haven't been here. The bikers are there, finally. They carve something around their desert. Uh cave zero. Okay, I'm just gonna skip past all the caves. I'm gonna assume that's not them. City one, no. C2, no. I'm gonna try once more city and then I'm gonna skip past the city. C3, no, okay, I'm gonna skip past the cities. So let's go to Coast 1. Alright, these are generic random encounter stuff. That actually I think came from Fallout 2. Alright, let's uh, skip past the coast. Din Bus 1? Alright, no, not this one. Din Bus 2. Not that you can tell what's going on with these. So were you actually looking for a specific map? Yes. I'm looking for the Las Vegas map. Desert 13. Oh, wow. It's a mass grave site. Dang. What? That looks cool. I can't wait till I run into that. I think it's probably another random encounter, though. DLS dead in C dead D E T somewhere. Enclave something around. I think this is Enclave of base. Wow, there's gonna be some cool shit in this place. Wow, there's gonna be some cool shit whenever I run into it. Playing this game. This game is huge. Oh my goodness. Can you ride the can you ride the train? Is that what it's like that? Huh. There's half a Horrigan's body right there. Do you see that? Oh my, can they see that right there? Half a Horrigan's body. That's so silly. I bet you can't see it because uh, the resolution is so low. But or... Yeah, because the resolution is so low. But anyway, I wonder what's up with that. So many trains, it's true. It's true. There's Gecko. There's Gecko again. No, don't erase the map. I haven't been here yet either. Oh my goodness. Look at this cool shit. More than what, what, what? Yeah, I know. You want to check that out again? I think it was uh, this one. It's about 100 years early. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But you can see Horgan's... Oregon's like at least his power armor and like the top half of his body just crawling out of this blue thing, whatever this is. I don't know what's going on, but it looks cool. I can't wait to actually check this out. There's a stairway over here and a stairway over here. It's gonna be interesting when we get there. Party, sorry. Giggle power plant. All right, we already got that. No, don't erase the map. Dang it. Alright, that's where I was last. Uh, it's empty. Wow, this also looks empty. It's interesting, though. Harrelson, okay. Also empty. Alright, I've already been here. I know where this is. This is uh, Area 51 here. Alright. No, this is Hawthorne, isn't it? Not Area 51. In base. So the military base is Hawthorne. Yeah, it's Hawthorne. That is not necessarily Hawthorne. Why is this dude here? I didn't run into him when I was there. Um, it's a critter. Hmm. Alright, I've already been there. Alright, that's the... That's the tribal area. It's the same... Whoa! 
That's not the same. There's like a satellite dish right here. Weird parabolic dish anyway. And then we got... I don't know. It looks like an oil rig that's half broken, but it's like I got a missile poking out of it or something like that. I don't know. Big old chubby poking out of the ground. Oh yeah, this is the this is the fight area for the for the big Louie gang. Some mountain stuff. All right, let's get past the mountains. NCR. Oh, NCR is uh, part of New Reno as well, huh? But that's not where I want to go. I want to go to Las Vegas. Not here. Such a thing as chicken and waffle cereal. There's hey in the woods. How are you doing this evening? Such a thing as chicken and waffle cereal. Really? Now I can see making a chicken and waffle sandwich, but a chicken and waffle cereal? I don't know. I don't want a chicken and waffle cereal, man. That's um, that's pushing some buttons I don't want pushed. I don't want chicken in my waffle. Oh, waffle in my chicken. You're good. All right, cool. Good to hear, man. I am browsing through the maps because I'm looking for a specific map um, in Las Vegas. But since the maps are not named for the levels they're open, they're there. We go. Uh, not this map. This is New Reno. Uh, then I have to I have to basically go through every single map to find the map I'm looking for. And these are all, wow, there's like a drive-in theater here. Oh my goodness, I haven't run to this area yet either. What is this place? There's so much stuff in this mod, it's ridiculous. This mod, I really like this mod. It really deserves a much better translation than it has. Yeah, it's a weird combination. I bought a, you bought a box and you, let me know what you think. Let me know when you have some. I'm curious. What does that taste like? Whoa! Oh man, I love the design of some of these maps. Look at that. That looks so cool. Just fills the entire screen with tires. <laughs> it's so cheesy. And yet so very indicative, or not indicative, uh, representative of what's actually going on in the world. That's crazy. That's cool. I love some of the some of the thought that goes into this place. Want me to try my very first taste of it here on stream? <laughs> if you want to stream it, man, it's up to you. Chicken and waffles was a meal that became popular with late, late, late night crowds that wanted to mix up some dinner and some breakfast. Yeah, those late, late, late night crowds were obviously super fucking drunk and probably trying to trying to chase away a hung a hangover. So I don't know if I trust them to decide what's good for breakfast or dinner or late, late, late night crap. I don't know. These all have R and D in front, so I'm gonna skip all the R and Ds. Wow, that looks cool. Just in case. Um, we're gonna go straight to. Is the whale one still the same? No, that's different too. Okay. Rubby, whatever Rubby is. And SF China. No, I haven't been here yet either. Oh no, yeah, I have been here. That's strange. Why is this not? But this is here. Oh wait, I have been here, but I they ignored all of it. This is um, this is Salt Lake City. Yeah, this is Salt Lake City. It's famous for being at DQ and KFC. Are you shitting me? At least it is now. Okay. Well, Kodan started to be served at regular meals, at least temporarily in some places. Oh my god. Well, if you got if you got a late night crowd of drunks and stoners, you know, that just need a meal, 
And they're like, oh man, chicken and waffles, that sounds awesome. That I could see I could see a market for it. Cause when I'm I'm super fucking drunk and kind of stumbling out of a bar and I'm hungry as shit because I just got done finishing some stupid karaoke. Some awful karaoke because I suck at singing. I cannot find the map I'm looking for. Wow, what is this? Where the hell is this? Can't wait till I find these places. Then yeah, man, I could see that because I would probably get some chicken and waffles too if I was at that fucking drunk. Interesting. Here's Vault City. Where everybody's dead. Weird. That seems like a future thing. Alright. So there's part of Vegas anyway, but I can't find Vegas proper. So far. Must be one of the ones I skipped, obviously. This is not Vegas, this is Salt Lake City here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is also Salt Lake, Salt Lake City. Is this Vegas? Okay, there are no other levels to this. This can't be, this is Salt Lake City. Got someone gift me a subscription to a different streamer and I got some furry emotes and I remember following one. <laughs> That's funny. You don't have to be a follower to be eligible for gifted subs unless you disable the option. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could actually disable that. What kind of furry emotes you got, anyway? How furry are they? Are they Pikachu? Are they Detective Pikachu furry? Or are they, uh, are they Sonic the Hedgehog furry? <laughs> That's a pretty fucked up... <laughs> That's a pretty fucked up set of descriptions, but yeah. <laughs> is this it? I don't think this is it. I think that's the cafe. Yeah, it's the cafe. It's gotta be a, a, a some version of the cafe of broken dreams here. Oh wow, that's crazy. Tr Trump. His name is Trump. Ah, oh, okay, well, that was an accident. The the character's the guy's name is Trumpy. Eight belly rump, trumpet, boba, Sunday. Interesting. Had a gifts, uh, I've had a sub gifted while I opened a channel and paused it after a few minutes. Aww. Aww. <laughs> That's. That, oh, that, that'd make me feel a little bad, actually, if that happened. Like, I don't need. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to get the gift, the sub gifted. Oh, dang it, hold on. There we go. I didn't mean to take your money. I just wanted to hang out and check you out for a minute, not get like free stuff. But if somebody's gifting subs, maybe they can afford it, which is cool. Like Drunters can certainly afford it. I wish I could afford to gift him a couple subs. That guy gifted me 20 one month. Last month. This is not it. This is not it. I think the music stopped because that was all the music there was. This is not it. As the chirpets, as the crickets chirp at me, chirpets cricket me. <laughs> I was gonna say, as his chirpets cricket me, as the crickets chirp at me, letting me know that nobody is watching. Well, you guys are watching, I'm just kidding. But anyway, he wanted you to get new emotes really, really badly, and he was probably a little drunk. That's true, that's true. He was probably a little drunk, that's for damn sure. Um, thankfully, thankfully, um, Tough Gunny had already gifted you that sub, so it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all.
Um, and I need to, I still need to uh, come up with a couple different, I still need to finish coming up with a couple different emotes. Finish the job I started. All right, I feel like this might be it here. But this is not where the slaver area is. No, it's not it, okay. Right, hold on, I'm gonna start some more music. I don't know if I'll find any good stuff here, but I'm going to play it for a bit. Mm. Yeah, it's just new Reno stuff here. I think this is all new Reno stuff, isn't it? There's no Slaver's Guild here so far. Yeah, that's New Reno for sure. That's not where I want to be. It's also New Reno. And that's also New Reno. No, there's, there's Vegas. Okay. Let's start shifting through here real quick. What, do you got anything else? Okay. Nope. There's, yeah, there's three levels here, but that's not what I'm looking for. So. So this is NC. NC Rent, really? So NC is um is Las Vegas apparently alright I'll have to remember that oh there it is there it is okay that's what I'm looking for so this dude right here so uh let's pull up the scripts why doesn't it show me the script for this guy this is the guy I wanted the script for see that right this guy right Okay, how about scripts? List all scripts. Yeah, that's the same that's the same thing. Hmm, show map script. VG slave int dot int. Hmm. hmm. No, I don't want to do that. I found the right map. What's info? Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay. Well, let's see. Let me grab... Pull this in the critters section. So if I grab this guy... I can move him around. But how do I check what his script is? Normally, you just press I and it'll give you the script name. But, if it's, but it's not giving me any script names here. Who is this character? I've run into this issue before. I don't know how to solve it, though. Because I've seen this before. And it doesn't seem like they should have just generic scripts. That doesn't make any sense. Or not generic scripts, but like no script at all. They should have a script name, right? Because this guy specifically has an entire conversation with you. Whoa, Streaming Weenie is now hosting me. Actually, I'm... Streaming Weenie... Streamy Weenie, thank you for the host, man. I was going to raid you in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. How are you doing this evening? How was your Fallout 1 run, man? I was going to raid you in just a little bit here. I was hoping you'd stream a little later, but that's all right. It's that knowledgeable guy in his chat. Yeah, it's, it's me. How are you doing this evening, Ishabu? <laughs> how are you doing this evening, both of you? How was your how far did you get in your Fallout 1 stream? Good old mutant scratch and sniff, I know. <laughs> um, this is, I'm, I'm using the mapper to try and check... Uh, uh, um, a, a script in, in in a mod, but I can't figure out how to get this script to show up. It's been fun. All right, cool. Thanks for thought. I was uh, I was getting worn out. I hear you, dude. You got tired of reading me type. <laughs> Fucking Kyle, though. Do you know about the bug where he won't give you the power armor? Uh, there's two ways of getting power armor. Well, three, I guess. You could murder everybody there and steal their power armor, but um. I'm not sure who Kyle is, uh, but you're supposed to rescue that guy in uh, in the hub. Remember, I told you that they were imprisoning the the um, the Brotherhood of Steel guy, that they had kidnapped him, um, and you were those guys that you were killing. All you had to do was like release him, and you could have got power armor that way. 
You didn't do that? Okay. <laughs> Requires 16 karma or higher? Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. He's like negative 59. Well, that'll do it. Uh, well, the other thing you need to do, you can do is you can go, I think the third floor, maybe the fourth floor, and go to the repair guy in the back side and he'll give you a quest to find a, uh, a couple different parts for the power armor. And you collect those parts up, which you can find in the base. Kyle is a sack of shit. That's, that's Kyle. All right. All right, let me check real quick. Follow one, Kyle. I don't think I need that open anymore. What's the picture going to tell me? Oh, this Kyle. This is the Kyle. Okay. Kyle's my brother's name, so it's accurate. Okay. Hi, everybody. Yeah, hell yeah. Sorry. No, don't worry about it, man. I wasn't doing anything, anything particularly interesting. I think it was just um, Vault Dweller and me here, honestly. Maybe I think In the Woods. Maybe In the Woods? I think In the Woods was here for a sec, too. I think most of not really many people are actually watching me right now. I'm doing just an off-the-wall stream because I'm not really doing anything. I got nothing, nothing interesting going on. Um, yeah, this guy, Kyle here. Now, I thought you were might be talking about, um, there's a couple other characters. Fallout, One, Brotherhood, Steel, characters. What is this shit? This is Fallout 4. Why don't you give me some Fallout 4 crap? No, no. No. Alright, forget it. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah, on the wiki near the bottom it says the whole sometimes he's a dick and just says I'm busy, go away, and it doesn't help you and it's impossible because he sucks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That'll do it. Okay. So, there is uh, there is another way. Let me, let me see if I can't... Let me see if I can't find the Brotherhood of Steel map for Fallout 1. Uh, become an initiate. Here we go. Basically this. Where is... So you can you can turn on power for the glow and get the, get the report back from the glow. Or you can rescue the initiative from the hub, and if you murdered the guy in the hub or did not rescue him, then that, that would be the easy way, honestly. You should probably do that one. But, um... Let's see. Can I get a map, please? Nope, it takes me here. Okay, well, uh... Right, there's got to be a map in here somewhere, right? I know there's some... Some bunker... Some some images of the entire bunker. But it's... Come on, really? Uh, fine, fine. It's, uh, at least I don't know if it's a bug or not how many years later. <laughs> okay. But also the source code is gone, so that would make sense too. Yeah, I know. Well, it's not exactly gone, but there is a version of the source code that's floating around, and uh, Tim Kane and Linda Boyarski actually have a copy of it. Under Lost Hills, you gotta look for that. Is about to tell you otherwise? What? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, let's take a look at this. Let this link here go. Follow fandom.com with you, Lost Hills. And map. Let's add map to that. Oh, that's I see. My headphones died on me. <laughs> My headphones are dead. Which means it's probably a good time to start wrapping up the stream. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn music on so I can actually hear it over here. It'll it'll kind of play through the mic too, but shouldn't play that loudly. Um, all right. Is this it? It is Lost Hills. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was looking for. I appreciate it. Um, rate streaming arena again and get back on. Yeah. 
don't think I've really been on your stream much since uh, Outer Worlds announcement. Any thoughts on that since then? Oh, I'm still waiting for it. There's okay, They say every once in a while I'll see an interview that they say something really cool in, and I'm like, I want to play it because that's what I want to play because they say some cool shit. But I haven't, I'm, I'm waiting for it to, to drop. That's what I'm waiting for. Shit's starting up stream again. <laughs> really? Okay, so this guy right here, he will give you power armor, but the best way to get power, I think the only way to get power armor from him is if you rescue that one dude in the hub. Uh, if, uh, if this guy, if that other guy doesn't give you power armor, it's probably because, I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. Uh, uh, you, you need a part. Um, can I get, where'd the map go? Oh, I, that's right. It's here. So instead, I will do it like this. I will open this in a new tab. Or not. Or it won't let me. Okay, how about this one? There we go. Opening, opening a new tab. Okay, let's go back. Um, where's the other guy at? This guy? No. Um, I hate that it's an on Epic Game Launcher, but fuck him. Actually, it's also, the last I heard, it was also on the Microsoft Store. So I'm going to get it from the Microsoft Store when it comes out. That's my plan. That way I can avoid the Epic Game Launcher and avoid that entire controversy. Um, because, you know, their anti-consumer practices do leave something to be desired. Uh, so that's what I'm looking forward to at this point. So this guy is supposed to let, you're supposed to get a part from, from, where is it at? See if I can find it on the map. Yeah, I have the part. The dude just... Oh, you already have the part. Fucking hates me for randomly for no reason. Okay, he's got his balls too far in his ears. Dude, dude, shit, didn't know that. I'll definitely be picking it up there. Okay, cool. Any consumer house? So, hey, Red Rider. They track your data and shit. Well, it's not just they track your data and shit. Um, it's that they... They are making private deals with the developers for exclusive games on a on an inferior platform um now don't get me wrong steam itself the steam the company has some issues that needs to be fixed that privately should probably should be fixed but um but the issue isn't necessarily with the private deals it's with the exclusivity and the lack of competition that's the issue there a lack of competition means that there, and, and there are other issues like uh, like they do have spyware built into their soft into their launcher. Could have just projected actually, but chose not to be. And they're being aggressive to push their launcher. Yeah, yeah. The their launcher itself is is buggy, and it has. Uh, there's been reports that it has spyware, and it's spyware that actually searches your computer. Um, presumably, that spyware is supposed to search your computer for anti-hacking stuff, specifically for Fortnite anti-hacking stuff. But, you know, since they don't come out with any some sort of open, open source stuff, you know, you never know what's really in there. Uh, so there's no way of knowing what they're actually doing. Okay, so the third way, the third way you can do it. If you can kill these guys, unlock this door, and then kill these guys, there's a, there's a pair of power, there's two pairs of power armor in one of these boxes. I think it's like right here and right here or something like that. There's a couple pairs of power armor in back here. That's the uh, that's the last way you can do it. <laughs> I ended. That's what I did with my stupid playthrough. I just murdered everybody. I was like, "Fuck this! You're all dying." I murdered everybody, and I just came in here and grabbed the power armor that was back here. <laughs> uh, but that's in a lot of things, not just Epic Games Launcher. Um, I don't know because I think a lot of other companies are a little more f up, up front on that kind of stuff. Because when Steam was pulling the same kind of shit for VAC, um, it could be. But I hadn't. That's I hadn't heard anything about it. I had heard about the Epic Games launcher doing that. But but like my issue isn't necessarily with the anti spyware stuff or the or the, just the, the the hard drive scanning stuff, which they do do. Uh, it's it's with the anti. It's it's with the practice of paying a developer or not even a actually the developers aren't getting a cut for this. It's the publisher. They're paying the publisher for exclusive rights for a year, where they don't give from what i've seen they don't give a discount to the uh to the uh consumer 
but they do give, give a discount to the developer. I understand why the developers will go over there, but that is an anti-consumer practice, not necessarily anti-developer practice. It is an anti-consumer practice because, and, and it's anti-consumer and it does boost their platform. And a lot of people have issues with it and I don't really approve of it necessarily myself. So it's like, if, if there's an alternative, I'm going to go for the alternative. Why not? But anyway, murdering everyone would be an entire eight hour stream of, of so, so much death. Yeah, it took me about four hours, two to four hours, something like that. I don't think it's eight hours, but yeah, it'll take a while. But it'd be good for this evil run. Yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah, exactly as if this is new. Uh, no, sure. But the controversy is new. I'm not saying like the entirety of, of, the, of the ideas are new. But the controversy sure is, and um, and I I don't approve of it any more than I approve of loot boxes. So if there's an alternative, I'll go to the Microsoft Microsoft Store, uh, which is bullshit. Because you, does your launcher really need to be boosted? You have you have like one of the most popular games on face of the earth. True, it's also a free to play game. Any consumer hardly the game still remains as intended on on the general platform PC. Uh, the uh, no the, the yeah sure the game still remains as intended, but the idea behind having an okay the idea behind having uh, your own company is that you can compete against the other marketplaces. There is no competition. They have exclusive rights. That is a that is a monopoly. That is not pro consumer. Very basic. That's a very basic. That's very basically the idea. That I'm trying to that everybody's putting them forward, and I'm and I understand what they're trying to say. It's a monopoly they're creating. They are creating a monopoly that for every single game that comes out, they have a, an exclusive monopoly. Now, this is not necessarily true for every single game. Obviously, this one is also uh, uh, Outer Worlds is also being ex uh, released on the Microsoft Store, but exclusivity is specifically a monopoly. Uh, a monopoly is specifically anti-consumer because it does not promote competition. This is the this is the direction that the that this one that the that not this launcher but this company is going because they don't want competition and they are perfectly fine not having competition by creating exclusivity deals, which is cool, I, but it's good for the developers but it's not good for the consumers because the consumers should be able to choose which one has the better sale price. However, when there is only one store selling it, you're only going to get one sale price. And that's the sale price that they that they choose, you know. You, that's and that's pretty much anti-consumer in 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 a, in a nutshell. Anyway, uh, bitch about launchers in general. I don't care about the launcher. It's about the exclusivity. I mean, like it's uh, anyway. Why don't you go back to when there was just installing from the DVD? I would if they if any games ever released anymore on uh except for like PlayStation Four or like you know your 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 your, your console games. So the only ones that release on DVD, CD, DVDR. Um, or Blu-ray. Those are the only ones that release on disc anymore. Uh, PC games no longer release on disc. I believe that's going to be a, a, a PS4 as well, and maybe an Xbox. Just, uh, not PS4, probably an Xbox exclusive as well. But that's going to be, it's, it's. Um, but but that's, that's. I, I guess I could go get, uh, but I'd have to go buy an Xbox as well if I wanted to do that and get the actual disc. But, and here's here's a further problem with having an exclusive company or and a company that exclusively handles the game if that company goes under now i'm not saying they will they obviously won't for a while but if it ever does go under and they have exclusive rights to it and they don't they choose not to transition your your copyright your your the 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 the, the license that you purchased over to another company you will never you will no longer have access to that game again uh, that's the issue with exclusive. That's one of the one of the several issues with exclusive exclusivity on one specific platform. Like there, there are, there's more than one, but I will admit I will admit that the arguments aren't necessarily that strong. But I kind of agree with the idea that you know maybe exclusivity is not the best way to go for a for a company. You mean like how most titles were on Steam? Uh, well, I don't agree. I don't agree that most titles were on stream because of ex exclusivity uh they could have also been they were also on gog i mean like titles i don't think you'd have to give me an article that's that points out how many how many titles are exclusively on steam where steam specifically made exclusivity deals like that i don't i haven't heard of that but i haven't been searching it out either so i don't know not to mention how devs get cucked with fees happening up there uh, the devs get cut with the same fees on every other platform as well. Uh, that's that's kind of the issue. That's now again, like I said, I'm the um, 
I understand why the devs are... And it's not the devs. Actually, the devs are not getting hooked on this one. It's the, it's the publisher. The publisher is getting all this money. The developers are not. This is another problem here as well. The publishers are making this decision, and they're not necessarily giving the money to the developers. The, the deals are made with the publisher and, and, uh, and, uh, and Epic Store, not Epic Store and the developers, which is another problem. But anyway, uh, uh, out of curiosity, would you care uh, as much if Epic was selling it for like $20 less than anyone else? Well, then at that point, it would be, it would not be, and it, will, it would actually be a fairly pro-consumer. But that's the thing, that nobody else is selling it, so there is no competition, so that you can't tell what anybody else would sell it at. So there's no sales on one platform or another to reduce the price, to get better consumer practices, to get, you know, more, more feedback. Also, there's like a lot of things that Steam does have that the Epic Store does not have. Re, uh, consumer reviews, consumer, you know, uh, like uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, reviews is probably the biggest one. Consumer reviews are the big, biggest one. Uh, recommendations and stuff like that. But um, but still, Steam didn't force people to do exclusive, though, did they? I hadn't heard anything about that. I I have I hadn't heard anything about it, but that doesn't mean that they didn't. If you got a link for that, please drop me a link, dude. I will take a check, read that article through. I have just haven't heard anything about it. Oh, hell yeah, they did. It was sad as fuck when I heard learned that they then installing a copy of Half-Life 2 on PC required Steam. Um, well, the same thing could be said about Blizzard. Now, there is one thing to be, say, to be said about a company that owns the means of production and the means of distribution. Steam owns, Steam created Half-Life. Steam also created Steam. You know, I mean, or Valve rather created Half Life. Valve also created the Steam Store. Um, I would say that right. So they're putting it on their own Steam Store and having an exclusivity deal with themselves. I, I that is anti-consumer as well. However, that is not the same thing necessarily as paying a publisher to to give them exclusive rights to their game for a certain amount of time. Uh wherein they hold all of the all of the profits and the publisher gets all the publisher not necessarily the developer but anyway uh pretty sure steam was non-existent when half-life one was a thing yeah i i i believe that was that's true too uh, i believe they i think they might have been around around half-life 2 as well but uh, but i did i had a hard copy of half-life one when it first came out this was years it was like three decades ago i don't know about three decades but like at least two decades ago this is a while ago But yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you do have a point, but uh, the same thing can be said, like Epic already has an exclusivity deal with themselves for, um, for the free to play um, Fortnite. I mean, it's also, it's also free to play. So like there's a, there's a balancing there, thankfully, um, that requires you to install that, their, their launcher. Has Valve released anything recently other than portal card game no they haven't valve doesn't valve doesn't care anymore valve doesn't care about making games they care about making money off of their steam store i remember a lot of games around valve's prime that let loose on the platform caught me by surprise when most games i bought for pc required steam um bought off the shelf and required steam as a drm which is also another issue that i really have with with i do have a drm issue with steam i don't like steam's drm I very much prefer GOG's DRM. However, Steam is so ubiquitous and has so many of the newer games that you're not really going to find on, on GOG. GOG is is focused on older games. Although that may change as Cyberpunk 27... The guys who oh, who make... As I understand it, the guys who make Cyberpunk 20, 2077 and um, the Witcher series, uh, CD Projekt Red, I believe, um, they I, I hear that they own GOG. So that may that may change in the future. But anyway... Um, oh, the VR headset, that looks dope. Eh, I'm not into VR. That's my primary gripe with Steam. I understand. I understand. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, but the thing is, is that it, just because another company does it doesn't make okay. It doesn't make it okay for this company any more okay for this company to do it than it is for Steam to do it. I'm like, I don't agree with either one of them doing that. But I do understand if a company makes the software or makes the game and then wants to sell it on their own platform exclusively. That is not the same thing as a different company 
being forced by their publisher to sell it on a single platform because the publisher is making more money, not the developers. And that's my understanding is that the developers are not actually getting the cut, although that, that's what, that, is the, that is what is being advertised as the case, as the developers are making more money. They're, done, they're actually not. They're not making the deals. It's the publishers that are making the deals. That's my understanding right at this point. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, I will happily... Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard that CD Projekt Red owned COG. I, uh, but I, I, again, I, I need more, I need more, I need to do more research to actually get better understanding of what's going on. I'm not a VR either, but I've been mainly waiting for a non shit headset to come out to try it. Well, cool, cool. I don't really care. I mean, there's been, I, my understanding is there's actually been several non shit headsets. Um, I just don't care that much to, to try them out. There's a lot of, there's several interesting games on VR, I will admit, but like the Star Trek game was kind of fun. Um, uh there's the 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 what's it called the, the elite game actually the elite game looks really pretty but whatever uh the vive was okay but still early i think the one this one seems pretty fleshed out cool 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 uh there have there been several people in my chat who've uh who pointed out that several of the vr games are or several of the vr headsets are actually reasonably priced and uh, microsoft one as well for instance um, that are reasonably priced and you can get them in there and you can actually have a, a nice VR headset. But at the same time, I like, I don't feel like spending three, four, five hundred dollars, which is basically the price of another console, just so I can play a VR system, which requires me also on my PC anyway, to upgrade my PC, to spend another 500 to a thousand dollars on my PC, just so I can play that VR game. Um, that's my issue because you can't just buy the headset and have it work. The headset has very little processor power to it. It has enough to get the images through, but it's basically most of the, most of the number crunching still happens on your PC. And my PC is low end these days. It's an eight core FX 8350, but it's low end these days. Um, uh, there's many, many much better PCs out there. My PC is ready for it. So that's all, the only reason I consider. All right, cool, dude. I'm glad you got a good PC. I really need to upgrade my PC. I really do. Oh, well. Uh, uh, but again, like, I, I'm happily, I will happily, if you've got any any articles about uh, the exclusivity deals and, and, and the way they're actually working, because I haven't read a lot. I've just seen a, a chunk of stuff on YouTube and a lot of the arguments on YouTube, and I kind of I, I kind of favor the arguments that they're making. Uh, I'd probably do more research on it weren't for the fact that I feel like I'm doing a fucking essay by doing so. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. If I, like, I feel like once I start doing research on it, there's only a few things I really want to research. And this this exclusivity thing doesn't really make me that all that, you know, all that upset either. I don't really care that much myself. Just like you don't really care that much. I agree with you on, in, the, in that regard. However, I do understand that the the way that people are arguing and, and what their arguments are. And I kind of, I kind of, I kind of agree with their arguments and what they're saying. And so if there is an alternative, which as I understand it at this point, what I've been told, what I've read and seen is that, um, is that there is an alternative to the Epic Store for Outer Worlds. And I'll just go for the alternative. It's not that important to me otherwise, but you know, in any other way. However, I do not like the idea that developers are not actually getting the cut and the publishers are making the decision when the developers should be the ones actually being allowed to make the decision uh, and also being getting the cut. And I, and I think that's actually not, from what I understand, that's actually not what's happening. What, what Epic is describing as happening is not what's happening. But again, I need to do more research and I don't care. I, I don't care that much. Uh, at some point, what I will probably do some more research on is the loot boxes, because I kind of care a little bit more about the loot boxes stuff. I was told to be pumpkin seeds here. Where are they at? <laughs> what? Pumpkin seeds? <laughs> hey, Sick of Beth, how are you doing this evening? What are, you, what are you talking about? I just, I got a beer, man. I'm just drinking a beer and having a chat. Am I, am I, I hope I'm on chat now. I'm pretty sure I set myself to chat. Yeah, I did. Cool. Actually, I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming here. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it here pretty soon. Also, just looked up CDPR only ever made Witcher games or Witcher spinoff type stuff. That's pretty amazing. Well, yeah, that's true because they only ever made those four, those three games, plus a couple spinoffs. And currently, uh, 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 Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, pumpkin seeds. I. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> that's cool. I, I, I only remember those fucks for nothing. For fucks for fucking up the SR2 port. What's the SR2 port? 
I really, I don't really know if I've seen that much of Cyber 2077's combat. What I will say is that what I have seen of their um, their skill system really looks like a significant improvement over what over what freaking Bethesda has to offer, and it really reminds me of what the original Fallout's were, um, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for as, as along the side alongside um, Outer Worlds skill system. Like I really want to see what they they put in. Uh, you don't have Pumpkin Seeds? That's wild. No, dude, I'm not a punk. I'm not really like a, a, a sunflower uh, uh, seed or 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 pumpkin seed or or what's um what's the other stuff that people eat? Uh, maybe like a peanut or anything. I'm not really that kind of a guy. I like peanut butter, but not like peanuts on the outside on their own. Uh, the hacking into people's heads looks pretty in depth too. Oh, interesting. Can't believe you don't have pumpkin seeds. Wow. <laughs> okay. Hope. Uh, uh, Oh, wait, hold on. I hope it they have an 800 employee ba company based off of one IP. Um, that IP has made them a lot of money. And I think that company also has to do with GOG. Like I said, if they own, let me double check that. Let me double check that before I say too much more. Um, who owns GOG? See Project Red. It says it right there. Okay. Yeah, so I think a chunk of this, a chunk of those eight hundred employees go to go to GOG because GOG is you know a sale platform, and there's going to be a bunch of people there. Um, Obsidian is never disappointed. Eh, I don't know. I don't, I haven't played all of Obsidian's games. I'm sure there's a couple games that they disappoint on, but um, I will admit that there are a lot of Obsidian games that I'm really interested in playing. If I really, if I had the money, I wish I did. I wish I had like sixty dollars. I wish I had like sixty dollars for every single game that Obsidian ever put out. Honestly, <laughs> anyway. Uh, they disappointed Bethesda with an 84 Metacritic rating for New Vegas. My understanding is that that uh, that may have been a little bit of Bethesda uh, writing into Kotaku or, or or not writing it, like controlling the media in that regard. But it's not like they didn't get any money for for uh, New Vegas. They got paid for New Vegas. They just they just didn't get royalties for New Vegas, which means they didn't get any extra money. Which is, you know, but at the same time, I understand. Um, and it's a shitty way to make a deal. And if the people at Obsidian were more confident in their, were at the time more confident in their own abilities, they would have said, fuck you, Bethesda, and made their own game like they did now. Um, which is why uh, Outer Worlds had such a boost when Fallout 76 basically crashed and burned, you know? Anyway. Uh, why are you still here? <laughs> I don't know why you're still here. I'm insane. If you say so, man. Uh, oof. Uh, that makes sense, though. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think some people prefer Kotor one over two. Um, I don't. I haven't played either one. My brother. My brother really enjoyed both. He could probably. I'd have to ask him what his opinion of it is. Um, Pillars of Eternity was amazing. That's the one I want to get. Pillars of Eternity. City even knows how to bug the shit out of games, though. Well, so does Bethesda. But I mean, I will grant that Fallout One and Two, you know, super buggy games as well, which was Black Isle, which is half the company, half the people who work at City and also worked at Black Isle. So, oh yeah, I don't doubt that it, with Bethesda's hand in it, yeah. Then they didn't they lose the ability to work on future Fallout titles. Skyrim say no more. It's not that they lost the ability to work work on future Fallout titles. Um, okay, there's there's uh there's a whole bunch of really crazy controversy regarding the Fallout franchise and Bethesda and Obsidian and Interplay. The person who owned Interplay is working at Obsidian, and I think he might be like one of the major leads in Obsidian or something like that, one of the major managers or something like that. Um, uh, Figures Urquhart, I believe, was his name. I think that's the guy. I'm pretty sure that's the guy. It's either him or, or one of the other guys, but anyway. Um, all those bugs, yeah. My brain hurts from reading this chat, I guess. But, uh, but so, okay. So here's, here's this is this is kind of a twisty little tale here. When uh, uh, when Bethesda bought the internet, the internet, the intellectual property from uh, from Interplay at the time, I believe owned by Figueres Urquhart. And again, I could be wrong. If false rollers here, he'll have, he'll he might correct me on that. Um, I, but it's one of the guys. It's like there's like two two main peoples at Interplay, and I think Figueres was one of them. Um, they they uh, Interplay, the guy who owned Interplay, kept the rights to make an online Fallout game. Now. He, they, they were supposed to make it within like four years or something like that. It never materialized. So Bethesda was supposed to get those rights. Now, the guys at Interplay, the guy who owned Interplay, decided not to give Bethesda those rights immediately. He was like, no, I want to keep them for a little bit longer. We're still working on this game or something like that because they're supposed to be still building it or not. And um, 
And Bethesda had decided to file a lawsuit against the guy who owned Interplay, which, I, again, I think I'm pretty sure it's Fergus Arcard. I only know pumpkin seeds. All right, dude. <laughs> That's cool. Um, let, me, let me get some pictures of pumpkin seeds for you. That's the best I can do. Pumpkin seeds. Ba -da -ba -da, images. Here you go. Enjoy your images of pumpkin seeds. Here you go. Let's just fill the screen with these. Get a nice fifteen hundred by eleven twenty twenty five image. Let me just open this. No link in the YouTube. No, not a link. I want to. I want to view the image. I want to view the image. There we go. There you go. How you like those? Enjoy those pumpkin seeds. <laughs> Quick name of vegetable. <laughs> Rutabaga. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So and and so they basically Bethesda had the guys at Bethesda sued the guy who owned Interplay. Uh, and, and that's when that's, and at that point, that's when Fallout 76 started being in, in, in the development. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and of course, I don't know exactly what all the details were behind it, but of course, you know what happened with Fallout 76 it was put out to a low, low end company that didn't give a shit about it, but like, they don't really give a shit about any of the Fallout games. If you actually pay attention to the game itself, they really have a lack of development behind them anyway. Uh, the MMOR, um, MMORPG got as far as beta stage under Interplay 2. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, they probably just got as far as beta stage under, under Bethesda. Then they never came to a conclusion, and Bethesda was like, oh, look, they didn't fulfill their part of the bargain. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, but they were supposed to do it within a certain time period. They just didn't hit that time period, and they wanted to keep continuing to develop it, and Bethesda was like, no, we want to make our own, blah, 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 and all this other bullshit. So there's probably some some code out there a half developed game that's almost ready to launch or something that um that I think Interplay slash Obsidian might now own, because I think Obsidian probably consumed the chunk of Interplay that was left. And um and uh, you know it'll probably never come out because they don't have a right to make a game. Uh Rutabaga said, I don't know what kind of vegetables are you eating? I don't know, dude. I just came up with a stupid name. I'm gonna head out for the night. Have a, all right, have a nice night, stream, Weenie. Thank you for the raid, dude. I will, I will raid you if you want. They need to rework Wasteland. They did. It's uh, Wasteland Two. There's a Wasteland Two out, man. <laughs> the uh, Wasteland Two came out. Who made Wasteland Two? I don't think it was Obsidian, though. I think it was a different company. In Exile, okay. Um, oh, In Exile, I believe In Exile is, is the company that was founded by, who on? By a couple of guys from Interplay. Brian Fargo, formed in 2002 by Brian Fargo, founder of, co a founder of Interplay Inter Productions. It might have been Brian Fargo instead of, uh, instead of uh, Figures Urquhart. Yeah, so, anyway. When did that come out? It came out like a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Name another vegetable. Um, <laughs> uh, broccoli. There you go. Broccoli. Uh, it says the devs were uh, in exile in Obsidian, but that may be wrong. 2014, apparently. Uh, in exile has been acquired by Microsoft and become part of Microsoft Studios. So that's that's a little bit of news right here. Also, uh, my uh, my understanding is also that um, uh, Obsidian is also owned by Microsoft, so they might have been they might have been just combined together. And Exile and, and Obsidian are both owned by Microsoft at this point. Have probably just been combined together into one company at this point, one developing studio. Um, this is uh, twenty fourteen apparently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Did I did I did I miss it? 2014, yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, I, I, broccoli or cauliflower? I did, did. I thought it just said broccoli. What do you mean? <laughs> I, okay. Oh, look, design is Chris Avalon right there. That guy, Chris Avalon worked on the Fallout franchise for the original Fallout One and Two. Anyway. Composer for the soundtrack, Mark Morgan. Mark Morgan also worked on the soundtrack for Fallout 1 and 2. Actually, the Interplay Online Fallout project only ever produced concept art. Oh, which is why Bethesda eventually sued them for breach of contract. That they were never able to show actual progress toward producing a game. Ah, okay. I wasn't aware of that. 
The articles I read did not give any details in that regard. Uh, which one do you like more, broccoli or Oh, I see. Which one do I like more, broccoli or cauliflower? Broccoli. Pretty easily. Because you can throw broccoli, you can throw cheese on broccoli and it comes out really nice. You don't, can't throw cheese on cauliflower and have it really all that tasty, unfortunately. Because cauliflower is much more bland in that regard. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's always just so much, so much more bland to me. Although that being said, I have also, I've also never bought U.S. produced, or not U.S., but like the shit they put in the store for the U.S. cauliflower. So it may not be the tastiest of cauliflower out there. Uh, I, I'm not a cauliflower connoisseur, as it were. <laughs> anyway. I do need to... I, I, I hope I have Wasteland 2. I'm pretty sure I have Wasteland 2 on my... On my... On my... Um, wish list. Yeah, it's on my wish list. There it is. Um, it's $30. Right now. Um, it is a very, it's supposed to be a very, very much a, a follow-up to the original Wasteland game, much like the Fallout series was supposed to be. And it, and it looks to play like a, like a, a like, like a much prettier, more advanced Fallout game. What are you hinting? What are you hinting? Broccoli Brussels sprouts? Jeez, who likes Brussels sprouts, man? There's too much sulfur in Brussels sprouts. Lima beans the same way. Who likes lima beans? Those are disgusting. I think I turned that up too loud, sorry. Let's turn it down. You love cauliflower? Alright, cool. I'm not. I get. I don't hate. I don't dislike cauliflower that much. It's just it's never been that taste to me. It's okay, but it, like I prefer broccoli over cauliflower. Thanks for taking the personality quiz. <laughs> You're welcome, man. How did I score? I bet I failed. I got a zero out of out of negative one. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Eat some real vegetables. <laughs> What's wrong with the broccoli? You got to grill the cauliflower. I've never grilled it or baked it. I'll tell you about getting baked sometime, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't care. Um, let's get through this a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. I think the gameplay uh, thing was a lot better than this. And I don't really like it when they have just full motion videos for their trailers. I much I like it much more when they actually have gameplay showing up in the trailers. But part, partly that's because it's so hard to find gameplay sometimes. Five out of ten blaze hit. <laughs> Smoke me some broccoli, man. <laughs> Smoke me some of that green. <laughs> anyway. Oregano is my devil's lettuce. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> the devil's lettuce. Hey, son, gonna fire you doing this evening, man. I'm just looking at uh, like Wasteland Two and some weird shit like this. Uh, you know, I okay, I tell you what. Hey, drunkers, how you doing this evening? I tell you what, though. Divinity is. Not, I know it's not by. I know it's not by. Um. By the same company or anything like that, but the Divinity series, I find I found this game to be really, really interesting and fun. Especially the way the the combat works and all that. To me, so to me too. Yeah, I really it's so in depth. Like I just I'm almost I've almost beat Divinity One, and I and at some point here. Uh, by the way, Drunkters, I see you're in here now. Do you do you want to do like a, like a multiplayer stream of Divinity at some point, or Divinity Two again? Actually, I, I don't know. Do you have Divinity One, the original one? I think Village of Eternity looks cool. Divinity is a good game too. Yeah, yeah. I have Divinity One and Divinity Two. I'm sorry, Divinity Original Sin and Divinity um, Original Sin 2. Doing well, man. Streamed and beat Wasteland 2. You beat Wasteland 2! is pretty decent. Starts with a bang. Cool. All right, have a nice night, Sekabeth. Uh Your laugh reminds me of Seth Rogen. I guess. I guess. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah, do a Divinity 2 campaign. Tactical playthrough? Maybe, maybe. Um, I'm... I, I, I just got to finish my Fallout 2 ones. Um, 
Yeah, dude, that'd be great. We do some great narration together. Hell yeah. Wasteland 2 kind of puttered out a bit towards the end. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I haven't picked it up yet. I, I, I want to. I will at some point. Dynamic split screen. Cool. Over 100 hours of gameplay? Yeah, I think I think there's several. Yeah, there's probably several hundred. There's probably a, a, like a 50 to 100 hours of gameplay in here if you decide to do everything. There's probably about 20 to 30 hours of gameplay if you just follow the main quest. But most of it's like reloading because you lost a fight. <laughs> but once you get the get the handle on the on the um, combat, it's actually pretty easy. Split screen is awesome. I found the game and never even beat it. Oh man, I have. I'm just. I've almost beat it. I've almost beat it. Um, as soon as I do, as soon as I do, because now that I know how to play through the game, because I got the problem. The one problem with Divinity Original Sin is it doesn't make clear in a couple of very key points, only like one or two, only like one or two. It's not terrible, but in a couple of very key points, it doesn't make very clear what you're supposed to do next to continue the main story narrative. So other than that, it's a really good game. Other than that, like I really enjoy it. Let's see about, um. Can I get two up here easily? Let's go to two. Let's go to the store. I want the store page for two. All right, whatever. Oh, uh, Wasteland 1 had a pretty kick-ass breakdown, which only makes me wish the shit was also to be found for Fallout 1 and 2. What are you talking about? All right, I'm going to pull over this one. What are you talking about here? Is this Wasteland map? This is, um, this is interesting. I've never seen this map. That's kind of cool. I'm confused too. I'm not sure what exactly this is, but this is interesting. This is the original Wasteland map. I played a little bit of the original Wasteland. I've never actually like played it with any uh, real effort or anything like that. Uh, but this is like old school. Truly old school. There's a if you play Fallout 76, there's a version of uh, of, of Wasteland in uh, that you can find in the game in Fallout 76. Again, they decided to make, instead of making good content for Fallout 76, they decided to take Wasteland and and reprogram it so that it works in Fallout 7, inside of Fallout 76 as, a, as one of those little Pip-Boy games. Like, really? You couldn't have taken that same team that converted Wasteland to, 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 to play be playable in Fallout 76 and tell them, write a good story and make a good quest, you know? <laughs> no, they decided to just freaking copy over Fallout Wasteland and then into it. Oh, well. Can I, can I get you to not do that, please? I want to full screen. Oh, I can't. I can't do it that way. All right, fine. Should be more power armor paint jobs. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Uh, let's see. Let me see what's on my wish list right now. This one's interesting. I might check this one out at some point. But uh, Dark Souls 3. Oh, my God. It's still $60. Any chamber. The Stanley Parable. People keep telling me to get the Stanley Parable. Oh my god, it's 70% off. I might get this one. Dungeon Rats looks pretty good. This one uh, this one got recommended to me as well. Wood floor laminates, you mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> The five, the five hundred atom wood floor or four hundred atom wood floor animates that people uh, laminates that people get for um, that people could afford with the with the uh, um, the, the the refund they got for their 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 uh, two hundred dollar purchase of the freaking Bethesda uh, canvas bag. Anyway, totally accurate. Uh, cool, totally accurate. Uh, totally accurate battlegrounds is fun. That's cool, dude. It's cool here. It probably plays better than all the Battleground games I'm playing right now. Or the uh, Battle Royale games I'm playing right now. 
See, this game has been recommended to me as well. I believe Sungenif uh, actually recommended Dungeon Rats to me. Which does look like an interesting game, and I really need to check this one out. It's only it's only ten dollars, eight ninety nine. And it's a, it, I believe it's an older game as well. This doesn't look too bad. Too terribly bad. Let me see. What else we got here? Just full screen this. Age of Decadence. I believe this is also in the same genre as well as this one. Ever seen this one? Let's take a look. Dust Wind. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to copy that link. Let's skip through this a little bit. No gameplay, guys. Here we go. Here's the gameplay. Yeah, I think it uses even the same engine as the as the other Dungeon Rats one does. Just slightly updated. All right. So let's take a look at this one. Oh no. Can I get... Fine, let's just... I wish I could open this up in the Steam store easier. Dust went. Let's take a look at this one. I haven't seen this one before. In the future, the whole world went crazy with some really nice artwork. Psychopaths. Fight to the death. Huh. Real-time tactics. Alright. Soft plunger, I saw a plunger too. I don't know what the deal is with that. Territory kill switch. Player versus environment. Deathmatch. Aim at body parts. How do you do that? At real time. Super fast editor. That's nice. Steam Workshop. Okay, cool. Awesome character creator. Loot. Okay. Unlocked items and ranks. Play as a dog. Alright, cool. And online. Cool. Or solo. So this reminds me of that... Fuck yeah, my furry dreams! <laughs> this reminds me of um, that game you were playing the other day, Drunkters. Um, what was it called? I forget what it was called. It was... I could only find it on GOG. So I bookmarked it on GOG. Hold on. Where's the bookmark? Crusader No Remorse. It reminds me of Crusader No Remorse, no remorse that you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you played Mutant Year Zero? You have Mutant Year Zero? Like, that's kind of, that's kind of, I think that's on my wish list. Let me throw this on my wish list just in case. Let's see. Oh, it's not on my wish list yet. I need to throw this on my wish list. This is another one of those interesting games. Hello. There we go. It's one of those tactical ones. Uh, tactical tactical turn-based RPG. Yeah, I don't know about RPG, but tactical turn-based games. Download it. Wait, there's a demo. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I should have been playing this the entire time. I, I, I can't download three gigs right now because I'm streaming. But I should have been playing this. I didn't know this was a demo. Oh my god. I should have been playing this all night. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is an interesting looking uh, tactical turn-based uh, game. I don't, is it an RPG or is it just just a tactical turn-based more like more like um, um, the XCOM series? Oh, it says MMORPG. Well, I don't know. That's a magazine. Never mind. But anyway, yeah, this one looks like a pretty pretty fun game. Although I, you know, you don't really see that many streamers streaming it. 
This is different from XCOM? Yeah, it's, it's different. Just play XCOM. I, do, I have been intending to play XCOM for a while. You do make choices and get to customize your guys. Okay, cool. But I mean, like, is it a role-playing game in that there's a lot of a lot of text and dialogue and conversations and you can change the outcome of, of certain battles based on the dialogue and conversations you have, which is more the role-playing has. Yep, 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 Red Rider actually happened to drop into my stream today, this evening. He doesn't do that very often. I wasn't really doing anything particularly fun today anyway. The trailers for this always made me kind of interested, but not really knowing where the heck they were going with it before the game actually came out. But once I found it was tactical turn base, I was like, oh, this is on my map for for a good reason. I have a good reason. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love I love some of the scenes here. It's pretty good. Anyway, mostly mostly narrative as far as I can tell. So it's just like very linear in that regard. That's cool. That's cool. I can deal with that. Um, the um, the divinity, at least divinity original sin, the first one is most is is just a very linear game. Uh, you can just any conversation you have just press one to get through it there are like there are some alternatives you can get out of divinity original sin where you um where you um where you can avoid certain battles but that doesn't change any of the plot line or what actually happens in the game or anything at the end so it's a very linear game with some dialogue options that you can use to change like a couple of things. But you just build your character to, to, to get out of some fights if you want. That's all it really does. Um, there are choices in this, but I'm not sure how many. All right. Here's some actual gameplay. Interesting. I don't need to watch four minutes of that, though. Let's see what else is on my wish list. Oh, let's close that. Get my wish list back up. Disputed space? What is this one? Why did I put this on my wish list? It's only $2, so I can see maybe why I put it on my wish list. Oh, I see. It's a space shooter. Looks very pretty. Epic space battles. <laughs> kind of reminds me of... Um, Free Space, because I really enjoyed Free Space when it came out. I think maybe that's the intent, is they're trying to kind of trying to emulate Free Space in a way. I got I got one more email like vape va vapor room, okay. Vapor room. I have to admit, this is a very pretty looking game. And for only $2, it like really looks kind of nice. Anyway, Vapor Room. Let's take a look at this one. Fat Bot Games. Shipwrecked in the middle of an ocean. Shipwrecked in the middle of an ocean. 